Beep, 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 welcome. He came down with the gun. With the banana and a little Diet Pepsi. Oh, thanks. All right. Well, you're cute, too. Mm -hmm. You know who Michelle Yao is, bro. Hey, you know who the f cowboys are. I didn't yell at you. Oh. No. <laughs> you're listening to the best of 2021. Episode Welcome. 290. Bobby's ex, Sarah Hyland. Surprise. I always say, like, he's, this is, like, my first, like, lesbian relationship. Yeah, okay. And did you view him, do you view him similarly, similarly as me, where it's, like, I find him attractive in all the ways that I don't find a regular guy attractive? For, hands down. Oh, God. No, 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 wait, 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 this is why. All right, go ahead. So, Jeez. can I just let uh, enough with the questions? Wait, hang right on. Now. I, I, she has I, to answer this. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. He's like a lady. <laughs> that's All right. Okay. okay. That's okay. Right. No, 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 no. But that's the thing. But that he. No, I like it. <laughs> it's good. It's Let's good. just put it this way. Yeah. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. And if you were to like, uh, if you were to like. Go towards a color, like it's it's almost he's a separate little he's a little ent entity of his yeah. own. Like I that I will say that Bobby, it's not bad, it's not bad, but it's definitely different from like being with a fucking plumber from Arkansas. Like <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. different. It it's a good, a good thing. thing. That's a good thing. That's, that is a good, good thing. thing. That's a good. My neck. Rainbow is, on the <laughs> you're, you're losing my your neck. neck. My neck blood is, pressure. Yeah, my neck is so. Should we stop with the questions? Go, oh, no, no, no. Go, continue, I want you to keep this no, questions going. Okay. I want to keep the questions going, but um, I just have to add that mm -hmm. um, with that explanation, yes. before I was a little defensive, but with that explanation, I would have to agree with that. Okay, good. Okay, go good. ahead with the questions. Not that plumbers from Arkansas are bad. I just want no, to no, they're not. They're like not. Different. No, you can't get canceled for that, Sarah. I'm not, I'm not trying to get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Plumbing Arkansas. union. I'm just saying. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yes. I'm glad it. I'm glad it. Well, the guy that I dated last before him was this just big, burly athlete. Yeah. And I, when I met him, I was like, why? I couldn't explain why I was really attracted to him. Well, you're that also. I remember your friends and family were going, "What the fuck." Episode 320. Rick Glassman goes full moon manic. Hi, how are you? I was, um, you're going to think I'm poking fun at you and I'm not. I don't think you're a funny stand up. But the relapse thing, the way you said it, that's fun. That's a joke. And that's the kind of stuff you should do. Right. Like jokes. That's inspired by reality instead right. of just showing your dick and pretending to be angry. Oh, is that what you think my yeah. stand up is like? Yeah. And that I'm angry on stage? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Racist. So, you know, I've invited you to do shows with me. Yeah. Yeah, and I wanted to do more, but I guess you don't want to anymore? Bobby? Yeah? You've invited me to do two shows in five <laughs> years. Yeah, yeah. And both of those shows, <laughs> yeah. you talk about how great I am, and you're going to have me back right away, and months and months to years <laughs> go by yeah, yeah, yeah. until you finally have me back, and all you do is say you didn't want me here. You know, it's a joke, all right? And that's... What I'm Comedy. talking about. And that's what you're doing. No, but I love you know it. I think you're funny. I love it. I think you're funny. I love what you're doing. I think you're so and when, smart. And, and uh, uh, you know what? I want to be honest and truthful with you. All right? And let's start there. Honest and truth. All right. Give us a five. Go ahead. We're going to start now. Five, four, three, two. Welcome to another episode of The Truth Podcast. And being honestly open. That's what our podcast is about, Tiger Belly. We have the most greatest guy. Mm -hmm. Tiger, Tiger, I mean, Rick Glassman. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, babe. Right? We're not gonna, I'm gonna keep, we'll fix that in post. Yeah. All right? Send we'll it to me. It. We'll send it to <laughs> Fix it in post, right? We have a beautiful uh, man, okay? Mm. Straight from the valley. Oh. You live there, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he is honest and open. Good guy. Rick Glassman. Anyway, I wanna say this. This morning when I woke up, I go, Are we doing the podcast today? And Clyde goes, Rick Glassman. And I got uh, instantly erect. 
And it wasn't a sexual erection. It was like my life energy going into the fucking organ. Mm -hmm. uh, What's right? the difference between a sexual erection and your life energy going into your organ? Life force it, is different. Yeah, it because it depends on what you're thinking about. You know how sometimes you wake up with a morning wood? Mm. Yeah, that's life force. That's life force. Isn't that uh, insulin? That's life force. I don't know. I'm not diabetic, so I don't know. But anyway, um, not I that had there's a, anything wrong with, by the way. And uh, we love diets. That's diabetics. That's yeah. We, we love diets. Love diabetics. We love diet. We like both. <laughs> we like them. Both. And I want to say this, okay? What a pleasure! Thank you for, so much for coming. And you know, also we had a little t time thing. I was getting my hair cut. I go, is there any way Rick can come later? And you obliged. Really appreciate that. Well, obliged doesn't that kind of sound like a golden girl that didn't make it? <laughs> <laughs> a really funny joke. And you're good at play with words, puns. We're very witty. Let me ask you something. How many vitamins are there? Essential or non-essential? Well, I'm just saying, I'm thinking like there's vitamin A, right? B, right? Mm -hmm. Is there an I? Yes. What's it? Uh, lactose intolerancy. It's the lactate. Okay. Is there an, a vitamin M? Yeah. What? Steak. Because every time I take a bite, I go, mmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have been trying to not eat meat. Yeah, 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 I've yeah. been doing... I ha okay. Yeah. I've yeah. been doing okay. So, so what do you know about vitamins? I didn't know much about it, but... Uh, what do you what, think essential versus non-essential is? I feel like... Let me see. Is that this? I feel like they're all essential. Mm -hmm. you, to somebody. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. To somebody. True. Mm -hmm. Right? It's kind of like it's oh, it's five o'clock somewhere. That is true. And that, thank you so much for saying that. That's true. Right? Episode 326. Bill Burr and Does Bobby Feel Special? Yeah. Soft I, That's the I do. My maybe is as well. So this is my my maybe. I like that my maybe. Thank you. So maybe, yeah. That should be the name of your next special. My maybe. But I've never had a special. Is that because you don't feel special? Oh. Oh, that could be. I think that's That was, it. oh, fuck what he just, oh, fuck what he just said. Kind of real, huh? Really cut into it. Oh, shit, that hurt. Oh, you're right. Are you doing a monologue? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to stand. Sometimes I'll no, just Bill, the way you, that was very no, sometimes dramatic. I stand to see if a monologue will happen. It okay. Right, so let's see if let me stand to see oh, if a monologue. Let's do it again. Yeah, 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 you yeah. want to go back to one? Yeah. Um Where do you want me to take it from? from? Well, well, how did you lead me into it? Do you remember? Is that because you don't feel special? Whoa. Oh, man. So, oh fuck. I think you hit a chord there, man. Yeah. Um so what's what are you doing? Dude, don't fucking move when I'm doing a monologue! Oh, wow. I'm very Christian Bale. I'm doing Christian Bale. Bale. Huh? You know what? I'll hang out with you. I'm not working with you anymore. Didn't he say that, something like that? <laughs> something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or I'm, stand I'm sitting down, back down now. Okay. What was the problem there, though? You were cut off. When you were standing up. I was trying to you capture you. Can you give me another lead, please? <laughs> Is that because you don't feel special? <laughs> Growing up, I am um, glad you said that because growing up, my parents didn't speak English and they never um, talked to me about anything. I was abused and um, I was someone touched my pee pee as a kid and stuff. And um, yeah, uh, I grew up feeling that I was like a piece of shit and not special. And so I think that a lot of people asking me to do a special, um, I think it's fear, not fear. I think it's a reflection on how I actually feel about myself. Cut. That was perfect. That was now great. listen on this next take. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was perfect. Now yeah, do it again. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, we got to that. <laughs> we got to that. Yeah. <laughs> Are you the director here? Huh? Are you the director? Oh no, I ended that whole thing. I'm just oh, I'm just me again. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, we're just moving on. Oh, I right. thought we were just gonna move on. <laughs> oh, I thought we were in the scene. Okay, my bad. Episode two eighty nine, Tom Segura and the hookup. Oh my Bobby, you've never seen this. You've never seen this, Bobby? Let's look at his arm. Oh, my fucking God, dude. He's never... Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> He's never seen this. Oh, my God, Bobby. Oh, my fucking God. He knew you broke something, but he didn't see the video. No, I saw Annie Letterman's one where she was playing basketball and she did a thing, and I didn't yeah. know why that was the oh. thing. Yeah. No, I've never seen Let that. me say something right now. Yeah. I swear to God... On my mother's life? Yeah. I've never seen that. I believe you. Yeah. I believe you. Why did you do that? There's a freak accident, man. Oh, <laughs> my Perfect. God. I mean, it really does send it was, down. Yeah, it's rough. Oh, yeah. my God. Do you, can you watch that of yourself? I've seen it so many times now, you know. Like, 
Uh, yeah, that's why my nerves are fucked. You're actually oh dealing God. with the pain really well. Yeah. Well, I'm the one that said call 911 because they're all looking at me and they're like, oh. you're right. And I was like, call 911. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you lost weight from it. Almost 30 pounds now. Yeah, so that's yeah. a good thing. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> because you look yeah. completely different from, the, from there. Yeah. 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 And I had just beat Bert. That's what nobody uh. talks about. I just beat him. And that, that was after we competed. So we competed. We, we were doing fat guy dunk contest, which is like. Was Bert there? Yeah, Bert's the one who takes my arm and puts it down. Oh, my God. So we, we competed and we're going, you know, we lower the rim to like seven feet. And then we go seven and a half and then eight. And then eight and a half. And then on nine, he couldn't do it. I did it. So they're like, it's over. You win. Yeah. Episode 309, Miss Pat's first Asian friend. Did you grow up with Asians? Uh, no. No. Not until you guys came to our community. Uh, oh, we mm. came to your community. Interesting. Yeah. The beauty supply store. Oh. Uh, <laughs> the uh, store. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, were you ever, the grocery store. Were you ever friends with Asians growing up? They didn't go to my school, no. Oh. When's the first time you became a friend with an Asian? You. You? <laughs> <laughs> 49 years later? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm trying to think. <laughs> I don't know no Asian. <laughs> I'm not, Lord, I'm not being racist, but I, I really don't know no Asian. But that's, hey, that, okay, so let me just be honest then. Can I, yeah. may I be honest? Yeah. yeah. I grew up with, in the suburbs of San Diego, there was no black people. How many yeah. did you have in your school? One and a half. I don't even know. Wow. You know I mean, wow. I, the white dude was really 10. I don't know. Maybe, you know, he was black. But There I, are some suburbs in San Diego that are super white. Like so that. white. So it's like the only real, like, black friends I got was from comedy. Yeah. And then you just show up at a club and then like, you know, you see I mean, the first guy I met was this kid named Kareem. Right. And he was this tall. He had a big fro. And he just came up to me and he goes, what's up, man? And then he gave me he gave me a hug. And I'm like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, it's just like in the movies. <laughs> <laughs> then he spit on me. <laughs> yeah, and then he went, yeah. Oh, right. I'm like, no, no. You know what I mean? And I try to do the like I try to be like, you know, he gave me a hug. And when we departed, I was just like, yeah. like you know, I did a thing with my body. You oh know wow! I mean? And I couldn't believe it. it was like I'm, I'm in training day or something. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> God damn, Bobby! <laughs> yeah. And no. then you, and then you know, um, I came to LA, and then Martin Lawrence's um, road manager goes, "Hey, Martin wants you to um, every time he plays the store, he just wants you to open, right?" So then it's like. I'm like in the green room with Martin Lawrence and all these guys and I'm meeting everybody. And it was just like, um, it was just a magical fucking time. But also I didn't grow up with black people. So I'm just kind of learning culturally. What, what are you looking at me like that for? No, I believe you. I don't know why, but you're looking at me like I'm, I'm going to say something, no. like I'm going to cancel myself. No, I'm not going to let you cancel yourself. You're going to edit this Episode 300, David Cho, Stephen Yun, and the Lord of Bobby Lee Rings. So when are we going to do this handcuff thing? Do the handcuff I really kind of want to do I think I honestly think it's going to be a hit. I will never, I will laugh for the rest of my life if you guys actually do that. <laughs> I know, it's going to be very inconvenient, though. I feel like there's going to be a lot of assaultive things happening. First of all, I think, shit five you, times a day. You you don't, think, you'll have to go to the bathroom. You think I'm stupid? <laughs> no, I do don't. Do you think I'm stupid? No. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is your? Do you think I'm stupid? <laughs> kind of. I, I actually kind of think you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I kind of think you are dumb. First of all, thanks for your honesty. Uh huh. I listened to your show. Yeah. I've heard you on this show over the years. How long has this show been out for? Six. Almost. For six years? Yeah. Your star fucking attitude. Oh. You pitch this handcuff thing to anyone that comes on the show. <laughs> it's not special to me. <gasps> you go, oh, hey, I came up with this idea. You offer it to every fucking person that's been on. You know what? You think I'm stupid? <laughs> yeah, I, I, no, 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 you no, think no. I'm dumb? I think you know what? I, I you know these are things. <laughs> if 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 stupid. <laughs> these are fucking things. If if, if, if Stephen Yoon think... came in right now, you wouldn't offer that to him. No, no, hey, no, you I wouldn't would fucking offer that to him. It, it, these are things that you you don't say out loud, man. You say it on the side, like <laughs> bro, it hurts my feelings. George, that... cut this part out. Why? You, you just said I shouldn't say it out, out loud. No, we're keeping it in. We're oh. not cutting anything. George, erase that from your fucking log. You, <laughs> log, the captain. All right, log. let me say something right now. Don't tell George what to do. <laughs> I didn't tell George what to do. Okay. Thanks for doing it, though, bud. Really good to see you. You're, you're ending it now? No, I'm not ending it. <laughs> I'm not ending it. No, 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 no. Can I tell you how I picture this setup? What? Slept King, 
I don't know. What's the accurate number of hours you play video games a day? Mm. Right now, three or four hours. Mm. Oh, cloudless space. No, three or four hours. Skyrim? Yeah. That's not true, babe. Yeah. All right, whatever. It's hours, right? Yeah. It's a couple hours. And um, you probably, I don't know, the visual I had and, and don't, is that you're like Hannibal Lecter mm -hmm. and you're just like, Porn, jerking off, video games, coffee, cigarettes, whatever. And then Kalila like wheels you into the podcast room. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if there's a clock behind me, but it's like, let yeah, me. Yeah, that's not, you know. Let, let, not me, let me finish. Like, why does this podcast end after an hour? <laughs> why is the only bit uh, uh, unhelpful advice? <laughs> like, like you, you could be bigger than Joe Rogan. You could be bigger than, like, you could have the biggest fucking podcast. And it's just like. Just fucking, like, <laughs> dial it in. Like, let's just do the least amount of work. Let's do the least amount of work. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. you could turn this into a fucking huge show. Yeah. Oh, Dave, come on, the 300. What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. This isn't my only dream, dog. So what's your dream in Hungary? Your dreams came true in Hungary? No, but I Your did. dreams came true in Hungary? It did, kind of. What happened in Hungary? I did a movie. So that's your dream, right? I, I'm doing a bunch of shit. I sold a shit TV show. I do this. Congratulations. I do stand up. You know what I mean? I, I do two podcasts, right? Congratulations. I do one with, with Andrew Santino as well. That's doing very well. Thank you, George. Right? My point is, is that I've got a lot of balls in the uh, in, in the. I haven't been looking at George while I've been. I, I got a lot of balls. I, I'm as juggling I, as, eight as, balls. As, as I'm telling you this shit, I just see his head going like this. Yeah. I see Gilbert over there. Yeah. They know it's true. What? In my whole life of knowing so, you, I gotta get on this so single funny. camera so, sitcom. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> be on this movie. You've been on movies with the biggest movie stars on the planet. You have been on sitcoms. You do like. I just want to do my own. My dream is as a when I first signed up for op for open mic. Yes. Back when I was twenty three years old, was I just remember going, signing my name, and going, you know, I want to do it all. I want to try it all. Mm -hmm. I want to do stand up. I want to act. Maybe if I can do radio, that'd be cool. I want to do animation. And I've done all of it. And yeah. I still do all of it. And nothing's going to stop me because my dream, it's all encompassing, all of it. In so one which, one, which one of all, you, and, and I'll be here to say, you did, you have done all those things. Which one of those things makes you the happiest? Doing the two podcasts, right? And also, I like acting. And then stand-up next. So stand-up's the least. Oh. Stand up for me is something that I'll always do, right? I did it last night for the first time in over a year, which went really f well. It was so fun, and I did it with um, new new material. Yeah, I did four new jokes that um, wow, it was fun. And then um, no, and I um, did He's with been Eric writing. He has his writing. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. So uh, it was fun, and I'm gonna do. Listen, dude, I'm you gonna, gonna. You guys gonna be offended if I ordered Postmates to the house? No, no, I thought we were going to go, go eat afterwards. I didn't know if you'd have food here, so there's certain things that don't deliver to my house. So I, I checked here and I ordered. <laughs> I got I got some for everyone. I know what you mean. You're right. Well, what it's did like you a... order already? He's here right now. Can I get it? I'll, yeah, I'll go get, get it. Go get no, it. Okay. you keep talking. All right. What is it? Oh, my God. You order, when did you order it? Before the podcast? Uh, I'll, tell him some, I'll tell him someone's coming out. Okay. Episode 293. Giannis Papas presents Karate Them. A lot of Filipinos are physical therapists. I'm so. going back. <laughs> really? Yeah. A lot of nurses. A lot of nurses. Medical yeah. field. Yeah. yeah. It's an interesting fucking question. That's though. a group you don't want to be racist against because at some point they will be taking care of you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what yeah, a yeah. fucking yeah. mistake that is. That would be a mistake. Like my 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 sister had a 27 year old um, patient and he was going into liver failure. He eventually passed, but basically he had like a, a swastika on his um, oh forehead. And every single, my sister is a tall, very dark girl. She's very, very olive skin, Amazon. With black Amazon. hair. Yeah. And he was calling her all sorts of names, all sorts of names, calling all the black nurses all sorts of names. And they just kind of just grinned and bared it and took care of this kid. She That's how like a, how difficult is that? Yeah. Like if you, Giannis, if you and I were nurses, yeah, and some and some guy was like, "Fuck the Greek, you fuck, you guys are a bunch of fucking white monkeys or whatever," and then the chinks and all that stuff. How difficult would that be to? I we, think you're just fucking pitching a movie, dog. Me and you, karate. We karate him. 
We're like, right. yeah, it's karate them. It's called karate them. Like we <laughs> fucked them up. Wait, wait, <laughs> karate. Wait, I like that. I'm Chris Tucker. You're fucking Jackie Chan. I like that movie. Wait, I, you calling it karate them? Karate them. Karate. <laughs> them. We fucking karate them, dude. We go through the whole hospital, fucking them up. Yeah, yeah. Very Japanese. Yeah. That is. I like that premise. You just, me, you, me, you, and uh, Chris Stefano. Is he in it? No, not. I him. have to no, cast that. No, no, he's not in it. Because I know his TV show's not going to work you, out. Me, you, Kevin Hart. <laughs> me, you, Kevin Hart, right? Yeah. And put Gabriel Glaces in it. Me too. And we're all nurses. Yeah. Okay? A fucking KKK guy is our, you know, our patient, uh-huh. right? And he spouts out all kinds of shit. I think there's a premise there. Absolutely. Right? Maybe at the end we forgive him. I know what you did there. What? I know what you did there. What? Okay. <laughs> I pitched a great movie, a yep. buddy cop movie. Yeah. But you looked at me and you said, doesn't have enough star power. In it. <laughs> then you proceeded yeah. to say Kevin Hart. And you just pulled up. You, you said, "Okay, Yanni's, Yanni's the guy with the idea." Yeah, because I can't but sell it. Yeah, I can't. I can't sell, sell it. it with just you. You <laughs> can't did. sell it. I know it, and I know I'm you did. Yannis, I don't know. See, I'm in a- you would have left history hyenas too. <laughs> Oh. I did do that. I d- I apologize. Yeah, you did do I that. Did, oh my god! Even though you know I'm the guy, right? And you know I, me, and you would. You're lucky. You're still in the fucking movie. I'm, 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 lucky, I'm lucky. I'm still in this room. I know. <laughs> I was in my head. I'm like, you know, we got to keep him, man. We'll give him a couple lines. Yeah. Let's bring in Kevin and Gabriel. Dude, and he totally people. fucking hijacked my shit. Uh, uh, or how you'd go it? sell it, and you'd be like, you'd be like, dude, we're I'll give you pay producer, you off. Or, yeah, I'll give you producer credit. No, I want to be in it, man. I'm gonna. I want to fight for this like <laughs> Sly Stallone did for Rocky. It's still, but you have to still read for it. Come on, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's my no, idea. No, you can't just give your body and you can't right, take right. it. You Here's, can't replace me with Gabriel Iglesias. That's fucked up. You know what? Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. You replace okay. me with Ali Wong. No, no. <laughs> no. It'll sell big in China. <laughs> you know. Here's what we'll do, okay? You and I will write it. Yeah. Both producers. Yeah. I'll give you co-lead. Wow. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna get EP credit because this was really my idea. Talking about my sister. Right. You'll make you. We'll make you love interest. But no, I want an EP and that's it. I don't want to be on screen. But we okay. will. You'll have some sort of disability in the movie. Okay. I like it. I'm listening. Where you don't have to talk that much. Okay. <laughs> as long as it's like explained. you have a stutter, right? Okay. And then we always cut you off. Yeah. You go. We got. Shut up, Johnny. I like it. Yeah. 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 I like it. Johnny or, or we finish, yeah. or yeah, or we finish your sentences. I like that. Yeah. Okay, as long as it's explained. You go do, 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 and we go. Don't call him that. Yeah. Or <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or like if the rock, it'd be a good scene, a funny scene. If the bad guy's coming, I could. Tell you about, and yeah, I can't say it. Yeah. And then he comes, but then you fucking karate it. You turn around. Karate and fucking Why does it? Why, wait, wait. Let me ask you something. Yeah. <laughs> karate. Let me ask you something right now, man. <laughs> let me ask you something. The movie's called Karate. <laughs> <laughs> and I want why money. Do I got a karate? No, somebody. Because you're the lead, dude. No and it's karate. time to do There's your no, Asian. I have respect no, Asian no lives. <laughs> no, karate in there. no, you're the lead. There's no karate in there, man. I have a bad how, story. So if there's no karate, how are you going to fucking kill the bad guys? Poison. Poison? Oh, yeah. Poison? That's you're going to work in What kind of them? fucking yeah. action scene you're is taken. that, dude? We're trying to sell this in Asia. Really? You've already taken an oath? No, because the movie is this, right? We're, we think about killing him, right? But then he's drugged out, right? And he starts popping out that there's some treasure. Or something he buried, mm-hmm. some group, of, some money, right? So then we're like, we can't kill him because of the fact that we want to. He he he's talking about something that we can get, mm-hmm. right. right? So our whole goal is to get it out of him, right? Right, and then it becomes a road movie. We t- we he we break him out. Who plays that guy? Who's the racist guy? Oh God, that so many good Easy. people. Yeah, that we can get who. Uh, um, Kurt Mike, Fox, Michael Rappaport, Michael, Michael Rappaport, Rappaport. played great, perfect. He's Chris DeStefano He's played great too. No. <laughs> I keep, he is out. I'm trying. He's out. I'm trying to get him in with you. Yeah, I don't want you to cancel him. You know what? He, that'd be nice. Yeah. Oh, he, here's what it is. Okay. Here's what the movie is. All right. Okay. We have a guy, KKK guy, right? Older guy. He starts popping off that at the compound. Mm. We they had buried. You know I mean a golden, you know I me mean, Nazi. You know, artifact. Sure, that's worth a lot of money. Okay, right. And so uh, Hitler's dick, mold, yeah. mold, yeah, like of, the mold, mold of Hitler's dick. dick, the mold of Hitler's, Hitler's dick. dick. Yeah, and how much gold? It's like the head of it is a diamond piece, <laughs> right? And the you know, it's like this, you know, um, jade. The nutsack is jade. Oh well, pure yeah. jade, it's though. precious yeah. elements. Yeah, yeah, and precious stones. Yes, you know, it's a uh, Fabergé. Mm. Fabergé Fabergé. made it. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> in the in the mid 1900s. No, the balls are Fabergé eggs. What ball? He had one ball. He had one, one ball. ball. Oh. One ball Fabergé. Maybe it's o- opened it's like a Fabergé egg. Yes. And inside it was like a, a, a golden swastika. Right. Wow. Or the secret on how to get rid of all the Jews. <laughs> yeah. No. We got to cut that part out. 
We got like a little. That, that like one's a, no, 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 no. A little. I'm joking. My name's no, no, no. Maybe that was a maybe joke. You're right. Maybe it's like inscribed in golden letters. In papyrus right, roll. Yeah, yeah. And maybe we have to get it to destroy it because the Germans, Cristofano, Cristofano's trying to get it to get rid of the Jews. We're the good guys. <laughs> right, we're the good guys. So we're trying to get to the secret to kill all the Jews and destroy it. So this, so this golden uh, artifact, solid gold, yeah. sack, one sack is a Fabergé egg that we open. Then there's a message in there, right, that we're trying to get to. To destroy. Right, to destroy. We also want to sell the object too. We'll go to Pawn Stars. We got to make a Pawn couple stars. dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. that will be the sequel. It. We, we want to destroy it, but then we make money and then there'll be a sequel because it's still out there. So Chris Stefano uh, plays the, the Hitler. lead. No, the, the Hitler youth. <laughs> the, the Hitler youth that, that runs the compound. Oh right. Athletic greens. greens. You guys, life is busy. And your well-being is important, guys. And we love you here at Tiger Belly. Athletic Greens makes it so easy to get the vitamins you need every day with just one scoop. Oh, wow. Our next partner has a product I use literally every day, guys. I started taking Athletic Greens because, you know me, I turn 50, I'm unhealthy, and I want to turn my life around. Athletic Greens is the way I'm doing it. Yeah. And even though, like, the powder itself or the drink is, like, pretty dark green, it has a very mild-tasting tropical flavor. I like it's it. really easy to take down. And so, for me, it's, in, like, when I have breakfast, I have my Athletic Greens yeah. right yeah. next to it, and that's what I have every Like, I used to do breakfast. wheatgrass, and it used to make me gag. I this know. This stuff right oh. here does not make me gag. It makes me go, goo. It's lifestyle-friendly, whether you eat keto, paleo, vegan, dairy-free, mm -hmm. or gluten-free. It contains yeah. less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, no nasty chemicals or artificial anything, while still tasting really good. And your subscription comes with a year's supply of vitamin D, which is so important to add in these winter months when we don't get as much sunlight. And right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition, especially heading into the flu and cold season. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash belly. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash belly to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Fan duel sports book. <laughs> you guys, I love betting and I love sports. You guys, Fan Duel is a sports betting app that Bobby and I use to bet on UFC. Yeah. Um, and referring a friend on FanDuel Sportsbook could be your ticket to Super Bowl 56. What? That's right. When what? you refer a friend on FanDuel Sportsbook, you'll be entered for a chance to win an all-expenses-paid trip to Super Bowl 56 for two. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Don't miss FanDuel's biggest refer-a-friend offer ever. All you have to do is share your exclusive referral link right from your Sportsbook app. Once your friend places any bet of $10 or more, you'll both get $50 and you will be entered into the Super Bowl sweepstakes. If you if you or a friend has been thinking about joining FanDuel, now is the perfect time to give it a shot. If you're new to FanDuel, you can also sign up with the promo code BELLY to get your first risk-free up to $1,000 and make every moment more this NBA season. That's the promo code BELLY. So see for yourself why FanDuel is America's number one sports book. Just download the FanDuel Sportsbook app and refer a friend for your chance to win a trip to Super Bowl 56 for two. Disclaimer, 21 plus and present in ACCO, CTIA, ILIN, I -I -I MI, NJ, PA, TN, VA, or WV. Refer players must wager $10 plus within 28 days after signing up. Bonus issued as site credit and is non withdrawable expires after seven days. Restrictions apply. See terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. No purchase necessary for the Super Bowl ticket promotion. Super Bowl promotion closes on 1 9 22. Gambling problem? Call 1 800 next step or text next step to 53342 AZ. 1-888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org slash chat ct 1-800-522-4700-CO 1-800-BETS-OFF-IA 1-800-9-WITH-IT-IM 1-800-GAMBLER M-I-N-J-P-A-I-L-V-A-T-N red line 1-800-889-9789-TN or visit www.1800gambler.net WV Episode 296 Chris DiStefano Can't we gotta stop with the clickbaity stuff don't you think? Like I don't even know I'll, I'll be honest with you if, if, if Fat Jonah I'll tell you something <laughs> okay <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't even, even know what clickbait is. I don't even, that's what I'm asking. What is kickbait? <laughs> kickbait. I can't even see it. I mean, kickbait. you know, is it kickbait? It's, What's clickbait? Because Asian you say, accent. "Oh, the truth from the hyenas." Are they gonna picture me with my swallen eyes? <laughs> and, it's like, I, I know. and then it's Did like, I? "Oh, I want to click that." Yeah, but I didn't. Yeah, I did walk these guys. Yeah, but I didn't have anything to do with it. Here's here's my here's my contribution. It's gross. This is shut up for a second. Here's my contribution to Tiger Belly, Mountain Valley Water. They sponsor delicious. 
Oh, okay. Delicious. Do they have a promo code? Look at this. All right, stop, stop, stop. By the way, <laughs> that's oh that was oh, the, oh, I've never even seen this. You have to, you have to see what the, the sign, fuck? Yeah, yeah. First so time here's, <laughs> here's. It's nice to see Giannis, Giannis get fat again. All right. <laughs> it's nice. Great so bear. Here's my fat. contribution. Fat. Here's my contribution <laughs> to Tiger Belly. Okay. <laughs> Today I woke up right, and I thought to myself, "It's Monday. Do we have uh, to do our podcast today?" Then the first question I sure. ask is, "I go, hey, who do we have?" True. And they go, right? That's yeah, true. true. It's true. I always ask. And they go, Chris D. I go, I go, oh, that's cool. That'll be fun, right? I show up. We have a banter. Sure. We have a good time, right? And then as soon as I leave this area, <laughs> I have nothing to do with anything. I don't know right. what Dude. you play this. I don't know what. You might, do I have anything to do with editing? I don't here, Music, no. sound design. Bobby. <laughs> I don't here's, know anything here's the about thing. it. Here's the truth. Here's yeah, the truth. Yeah, here's that's the truth. truth. No, but here's the truth. Here's, here's the overall truth. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's be honest, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Nobody cares either way. Nobody cares about the history of hyenas. Nobody, nobody cares about Tiger Belly. Nobody cares about Joe Rogan. Nobody really cares. We pretend like we care for a minute, but the truth is, nobody actually really cares about anything. Yeah. Except maybe you know, you're, you're, I, you know, I care about my child. Like, but the podcast, it's like, okay, after a while, you don't care. The thing that bothered me about this is I was like, it was over. Like, it was almost over. And I'm like, because now I'm not the kind of guy that wants to get on Twitter and tweet back and mm -hmm. start a wall. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Uh, the only thing that I wish about that appearance, and I'll just be point blank. Okay. So, you know, give the listeners what they want. Give you something you could, you know, potentially put up and let, you know, let the fucking clickbaiters. Don't use the black eye picture for this. Let web them. Setting. No, yeah. Let, you know, whatever, whatever they want to throw <laughs> up. You know, if you want, I can, we can come. In. Do you want me to bring in? I'll come in. Like we'll bring more you, you in. You want to do? We could do the. You know the. You're acting crazy right now. We could you, do my baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're triggering. I, yeah, yeah, I know. So, right, right. so what's wrong thing, with you? The only <laughs> thing was, <laughs> yes. I'm gaslighting. I love it. No, I love it. I love what's gaslighting. Wrong? Dude, you need no, help. No, the thing <laughs> was. No, wait. Let me finish. No, no, no. I want to hear It's my show. Let me. Yes, go. Stop pointing. It's what you need help. Yes. Need therapy. I have no idea what you're saying. Yes. This is what he does. Oh my god. This is what he does. Now move on. The thing was, I just wish. I the only thing I wish. The only thing I wish was. The only thing I wish was is that maybe is that maybe Jan, when you were talking about it, maybe Giannis could have just defended me yeah. a little more because I think there's a narrative going around again just personal in our life. I know the grand. I know most people don't care. Most people don't know who I am. Yeah, yeah. I'm very aware of these things. I'm very aware. But it's like the narrative is is that I left history to start a true TV show and that I'm a sellout and though I, I I went up to go do a podcast with. Sal Volcano, and it's like these things aren't true. I'm doing a solo podcast called Chrissy Chaos, youtube.com slash Christy Comedy, Tuesdays 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And then I also do a patreon.com slash Christy Comedy for all the extra bonus footage. If you really want to hear the behind the scenes with Bobby <laughs> yeah, Lee, yeah, you yeah. can go sign up for that right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then we do Hey Babe, Thursdays 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Okay. So, so. <laughs> and and there was this narrative going around that I couldn't do his trainings anymore because his trainings is so edgy and crazy and we say whatever and we go wild and now I have to be a cuck on TV and I have to be clean and a cuck with Hey Babe and none of these things are true. Like just none of it's true. True TV, just let me tell you, just so your fans know, True TV hired me because they said, we like that you get crazy on History Hyenas. We want to move in a direction of, you know, listen, if you yelled the N-word, which I haven't, they're like, that's no good. If you assaulted somebody, that's no good. Yeah. But they're like, you know, that your, your wild shit, you saying that, you know, the Japanese need to get put in, the, you know, had to get put in the microwave after, you know, they dropped a bomb on Pearl Harbor. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. You're fine. It's comedy. <laughs> I like your TV. It's yeah. fine. Right. You know, Sal, the podcast I do with Hey Babe and Sal, people yeah. are like, oh, you clean cock, you fucking clean cock. The challenge to be clean on a podcast is insane. That's why Sal and I do it, because it is so incredibly difficult for me. Because if you listen to Chrissy Chaos, I say, I, I just interviewed, or a few episodes ago, I interviewed my girlfriend's transgender uncle who was just in prison for 25 years. He was talking about sucking off Son of Sam. Yeah. So we're going, ed talking about whatever. But with Hey Babe, yeah. we're, we have to stay clean in the box. That's on purpose. So it's like a comedy exercise for us discipline. and it's very difficult it's a discipline and guess what and what? it adds twice as much money so the you know so it's it's really one of those things you thought you were getting paid for magic spoon oh no baby yeah 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 oh no 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 no, no. <laughs> right right no 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 so 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 these things are exercises so just for any of the fans i understand most of the fans who hate me are always going to hate me anywhere who are on the but the ones who are like oh I would just like them to hear what the truth is. But if you still want to hate me and call me a seller, uh, that's fucking fine too. All right. Just one. Hey, dude, you had your, I just had to fucking come yeah, clear the name. He needs his day in court. I, I needed my day in court. He just did it, and I have a verdict. I'm the judge, right? Okay. Do you need a Sharpie pen? No, yeah. I don't need a Sharpie I have the verdict. Okay. All right? 
the verdict is this, all right? First of all, I just want to add, right? Anybody that says you're a sellout by doing True TV is so dumb because you th like you think that this is all I want to do? It's turn a mic on and talk. I like doing it, and it's fun, right? Sure. But I have other shit I want to do. other dreams. I have other dreams, and I'm going to do that shit, you know? Episode 302, the Sarah Hyland and the Stevie Weeby reunion. So anyway, I make the uh, story, I'll uh, make the story short. Here. So yeah, the, the, the female manager would like, because I smoked back then, and she would like make me walk like to the other end of the mall. Yeah. And I was just like, God, I, I can't do this. I just can't do this anymore. You know, and that's when Bob, remember when Bob was living um, above the comedy store? Yeah, oh yeah. Is that where it's Polly? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we well, yeah, well, I was you guys together then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I met were, Bobby right? when he lived over like Sunset Junction. He lived in a really small apartment over in Silver Lake. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's when I first met him. What are you saying, George? The dumpster. The dumpster. <laughs> yeah. Yep. No, no, no. This is post dumpster. <laughs> the the OG dumpster is when all of us lived there. Yeah. On the third floor. <laughs> and remember, Bob booked that IBM. Global, oh. the big one, the, yeah. the, the, the Cobra Knot campaign. Yeah, mm -hmm. did he think he was a big shot then when he booked it? Uh, he flashed me. I remember he showed me his check. <laughs> oh, he showed you his check. Of course he did. No, <laughs> we were on Melrose, <laughs> and he goes, he goes, <laughs> and then you know this is when he hit, um, remember how, how Bob loved diesels? Yeah, yeah. Oh no. Oh yes, we would go the diesel. Yeah, the diesel or, jeans. Yeah, yeah. Because oh, no. that was like one hundred. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, we thought that in high school, you thought diesel was like the top of the line, the most shit. expensive thing, right? Yeah. Oh, he had every pair. Yeah. He had every pair. But so we're on Melrose, and then he goes out of his pocket. He goes, Oh. <laughs> this is the way I do it, dude. <laughs> 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 hold up, hold up. He goes like this. No. This is the way I'm doing it, dude. Yep. That's Bobby, yeah. How are you doing it? Yeah. How are you doing it? Yeah, this, you know what I mean? And, <laughs> does that sound accurate? It sounds... <laughs> it couldn't be more accurate. <laughs> this is the way I'm doing it. This is the way How are you doing it? <laughs> Something like that. You're put me in a rage. I can't stand it. But you know what? <laughs> it's so God cute. always gives us... <laughs> Like counters to those. It was moments. like a hundred thousand dollars. It was so much. Money. Oh my god! <laughs> so, so let me not forget the trajectory. <laughs> That's when. Okay, so this is uh, he. We're in the dumpster, and then he got that money. Yeah. And he moved like two floors down, and that's <laughs> what the apartment you're talking about. So it wasn't no the shit. dumpster. Oh, oh, you guys lived in that hole. Yeah, we all lived at That's the dumpsters, crazy. like <laughs> okay, us and like okay. 10 skateboarders and junkies <laughs> yeah. and just random people. <laughs> and then Bob got the Code or Not campaign. Yeah. And then he moved down, got his own spot. His own mm -hmm. jam. Fancy boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You you booked something too, though, at that time. You were in Did a you massive Starburst commercial? You were in a massive commercial. Yeah, the Star 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 like, Star 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 Starburst. <laughs> That, that was a I, really funny. That was commercial. a good one. That was a good one. You know how they're um, mm -hmm. rerunning like old ones that were mm -hmm. successful back then. That's one that they should do again. You liked it. That one was a good one. Where you make the baby cry. Yeah. Hey, Jimmy, come see the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was the accent for that? It was a Chinese. Hey, hey come see the baby. <laughs> <laughs> that was rich. I don't know. Come I don't see know. the baby. Come see the baby. Come see the baby. Come see the baby. Come see the baby. And I remember they had it like, um, because I kept missing my mark. Uh. And then so they're like, I had to like act like, you know, I'm doing my own thing. And then I had to hit this mark and then out of my pocket have a sour starburst and then put it in my mouth. And then by the time I got to the baby, I had to like make the face. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah. But you know, that was hard to book because every time I got, I kept coming back for the callback. There's a, another like young like Asian kid, mm. so I'm like, oh my god! And you know how like shallow I got? Like, you know how shallow they were? The whatever the uh, people, the um, the casting, the casting yeah. people. On the last one, they brought another kid, like who didn't even go through the other mm. auditions. And then I overheard them. We we're in front of the Vista Theater. Remember the mm -hmm. Vista? I do. Yeah. We we're eating um, cut lemons, and then I remember one of them saying. Uh, Pick the other one. Uh, his hair is more like Bruce Lee's. <laughs> Everyone, Bruce Lee and Why? you. Is that their only I, reference for anything? Their only Bruce reference Lee? is Bruce Lee. Lee. I'm like, I know, is but he's because I guess I had sideburns, <laughs> and so I heard that, and I'm like, oh, this is how it works. <laughs> wow. Oh, that sweet. was your audition. Wow. That was my last audition. That was like my whatever the last callback. The callback. Okay, yeah. and then you booked it. 
Yeah. That's yeah. how that's how I do. That's yeah. how you do that's it. That's how you do it. No, but I didn't that's make a hundred thousand dollars. Do it. I didn't make a hundred thousand dollars. No, but you know, you were doing commercials, weren't you, sir? I did. I did. Like with Aqua, right? Didn't because Bob got everyone either origin. He or Aqua. did. We were, we were all uh wrecked by Aqua at one point. Were you too? I was there for like six you months. You know who has to? Gardo. Oh, yeah, I remember. I like Gardo. Gardo, yeah, shout out. I've always liked Gardo. Yeah, great I guy. love Gardo. Yeah. Um, but everyone, Bobby always just pulls everyone, I think, into the same. That's everyone. The agency, yeah. And then, did you, I think his ex-girlfriend, too. Oh, I believe yeah. It. <laughs> Episode 308, Eric Griffin and Kalila's lingerie. So it's like knowing what happened in 1941 on a Tuesday at 10 a.m. is not going to help me today when right, I'm trying to... Right, he got to a fucked up power. Well, what I'm saying... He got a yeah. fucked... You know what I mean? Some mutants, right? Some mutants have a cool power. Like, Colossus is a cool one, but there's probably ones like... Yeah. There's one called Dead Girl. That's oh, there's Dead Girl? There's, I think there's one called Dead Girl, but she's like... From like um, uh, X Men Z, like some younger generation. What did Mojo and she can't, do? She can't die. Remember Mojo? He was just like a big fat blob. That, what did he that's do? That's not Mojo. If Mojo was a big fat. The blob, blob. with the blob. No, go to go to Mojo on X Men. You remember I, the blob though? I know the blob. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The movie. No, Mojo. I had an X Men card. I have a whole collection. You, how do you use Mojo? Oh, wow. This, this M -O -J -O. is a, a nerdy side of Kalila that we never knew oh. about. Got stolen. Is there a Mojo? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. Mojo. Oh, yeah, he is? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What did, what did Mojo do? Let's see. He is... Oh, my God, Caleb. Do you want to go through all the... No, that's all right. That's all right. I mean, just one thing. This is riveting. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> there are powers. Powers and abilities. Go down. <laughs> Mojo is a powerful sorcerer. The full limits of his magical knowledge is unknown. He is also a master manipulator and schemer. Oh. Like a base, like a, a New Yorker, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a New Yorker. <laughs> Why does he have to be a blob with that power? I know. But you know, his card was very strong. That's how you remember it as a kid. Wow. Oh, all right. Yeah. If I was an X-Men, I'd get fucked. Like, I would get, like, like, my anus would turn into steel, and that's it. Yeah. Jeez. I've said this before. Yeah, but it's like the fact that, that it's like you a, want that to be your power. A steel anus, anus so he yeah, can cut yeah. off dick. So what? What yeah. is the yeah? What is the point of that? <laughs> That's so why there's no point. So everyone has these powers, right? All right. And I'm going like you're I'm just, angry and I got it, you're but steel, it's like <laughs> steel anus. I'm angry, guy. I got it, but there's nothing I can do. No, I we, use they, it. they would have to hold you up, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a shield, and then your anus would like block things. <laughs> or maybe they have a, like a stick of plutonium. We don't know what to do with it. And they just no. stick it in here. I have a use for no, it. No, cigar night. You know? You, you, we're, well, the guys are hanging out having cigars. Oh, yeah. they need someone to you would bend cigars. over. We would just go click. You would get it. And we'd be like, oh, thanks, Bobby. You or if you, get, if you get shot, yeah. just turn your anus to the incoming bullet. Right. But what if it hits my cheek? I'm dead. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. oh that's the one. Well, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of cheek. So I guess <laughs> it is like. It's spread wide, babe. Yeah. Yeah. I also had this uh, joke I could never get work, but I, this was a bit I did. Oh. So the other joke was, uh, the other power I would have <laughs> is uh, I would control ants. Would that be a great power? That's a great power. No, but watch. So like, like you know, like Sabertooth attacks me, okay. right? And I go, stop. He goes, what are you going to do? <laughs> and me going, they're coming. <laughs> <laughs> and we just stand there for like three hours. And all of a sudden, you can see these ants slowly getting to him. Well, you're not utilizing ants in the way that they're meant to be utilized. What do you mean? Because like, ants are master builders, ants. right? Yeah. So I would have them, like, yeah, you can't have them on, like, a last-minute basis. They're not there to help you in that way. They're here to, there to help you set up traps, set up other yeah. stuff, build things. Yeah. Kalila, oh. in ants. <laughs> well, there is an ant man. I know there's an ant, but that's not what I'm talking about. Babe, Kalila. What? Right? The exasperation about this nerdy topic is like so <laughs> hilarious <laughs> to me. me just, like, you like, tell this one, oh, you don't get it. <laughs> ants Have you not seen an X movie? It's like. I've seen all of them. I know, but we, you know, when action starts, it's happening. There's n what, so the guy that can control ants, what? Oh, no, the ant guy would have ants in his belt. That is, and yeah. do what? You'd have ants in a backpack, and he would just like open them up. Get him! And yeah. They would, they would go get him. That they is would, true. You just have them attached to you already. Why, why, yeah. why are you still calling onto them? Yeah, where are they that you're like... All right, so Magneto's up, right? He's bending steel. Yeah. Right? 
He's uh, 300 feet away, bending steel, right? Uh-huh. And I have a backpack full of ants. Yes. Giant First red of all, my ants. My back is all itch itchy as fuck. No, but you, you're, I, immune, you know, itchy you're immune fuck. to it. You're like an Yeah, they don't affect account. you and like that. I take the backpack, but me you know, a Cyclops is looking at me like, he does one of these. Oh, this guy. <laughs> We wait, wait, that, wait, 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 wait. Wolverine, you brought that guy? No, 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 no listen. <laughs> yeah. You're not on the field with Cyclops. Like, no, you're... Who am I? Where you're, am I? You're at the mansion. You know what I mean? Like, you're the gardener. You're making sure all the ants just, are... Just holding it against Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not... Oh. You're ancillary. You, you really think that, like, they're going to be like, who are we bringing with us? On all right, field, yeah. Storm, Cyclops. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Professor Xavier. Yeah. And then Ant Boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's you're, no way. You're not on that list. I'm not on the list. You're not. You're not. You're not. You right. know. Yeah, yeah. Rogue wouldn't even touch you to take your power. That's true. Just That's true. That's <laughs> super <laughs> annoying. Yeah, that her. would be true. Yeah. What power would you have? Do you think? I don't know. Probably some nose power or something like power of smell. smell? Oh, that's good. that never, is a real superpower. Do you? I know, but that? it would be like it would be terrible. You've never seen that before in the in. A, you Have you seen like, that? No, no, that's interesting. No, but the, those are yeah. real things. Like super smellers are a real thing that medical researchers use. Like if you are somebody that has a very keen sense of smell, you are likely able to predict early onset Parkinson's and other okay. major diseases. Right. So you're basically what you are, right? You roam around the mansion, uh-huh. right? And you smell like Wolverine. I, fi- I find things. And then you have you go, <laughs> yeah, you you have a tumor. <laughs> And Wolverine's like, really? He's a good doctor. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good yeah. doctor. You're basically just a bloodhound. Yeah. You're a bloodhound. And I always know when somebody farts. And it's right, like right. The worst. Like, you, the people come up to you and it's like, I can't find my ham sandwich. Right? And then you were like walking around the mansion. You left it on the, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's right there. Yeah, right there. Like, we would be a, t- that, that would be the terrible duo. Sniffy and ant <laughs> and ant boy. No, and, and no, an iron hole. Iron. Oh, 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 oh that's the anus, the anus thing. That'd be sniffy and iron hole. Oh, iron. <laughs> that would be iron sick. hole. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Episode three fourteen. Shane Gillis of Rice and Men. So when that shit happened to you back in the day, when was that? A couple it years was ago. Two years ago. Initially, like exactly. how did how did it feel? Feel feel bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll yeah, be honest. Yeah, not yeah. great. Was it? Devastating though. Uh, I think it was just more surreal than mm. like it took me a while to be like, damn, that was devastating because it was. But like while it was happening, I was like, this is crazy because I wasn't. I was doing like I was new. I was brand new in comedy. Wow. You know, that must. Be, I yeah. moved to New York that year. Jeez. Oh my god. Yeah. So you also getting that show, you have to jump over a bunch of hoops. Uh, I didn't. I literally didn't. did one audition. Oh, so you, shit. In front of Lauren. <laughs> yeah. Was was Seth there? Or Myers probably not. No, who uh, else was in the room? Colin Joe's probably. No. Yeah, I think the writers, Che, oh, oh, and shit. then some of the other producers and stuff. And you got it. Yep. And then how long did you have it before they took it away? Not long. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I auditioned like two weeks before they told me I was going to be on the show, and then they told me I was going to be on the show. The next day, they announced it. That day is, I mean, five hours in, is when I started getting like. Oh, this isn't gonna happen, you know. Oh, it was pretty quick. I mean, honestly, dude, it's like, and I want to be completely sincere with it because I'm, I'm not emotional, but um, it hurts me. Yeah, it's it hurts me. Mm-hmm. It's like, um, because I even when I got mad back in the day, I know how exciting that is. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, and I know how like magic, like you just, it's everything's otherworldly almost, and you're like floating on air. And then I can't imagine somebody just, you know, you're floating on a cloud and some guy going, pop, <laughs> yeah, right? And then yeah. you, oh, and you fall to the ground. I'm like, I can't imagine that. So sure. I'm sorry that that happened. No, I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, there was like a few days where I was like, New York's incredible. <laughs> like, I, was like, I was like walking around the city. I was like, wow, my city. <laughs> and then like right, right. five hours later, yeah. I was like, I hate this place. Wow. Yeah. Did you move back after? No, I stayed in New York. You stayed? Yeah. And then how long did it take you to kind of like um, start feeling normal again? Uh, probably like this year. It probably took a year. My God. Without noticing, you know? Right. I couldn't tell. You know how it is. Yeah. Like when you're like depressed or whatever, you don't really know you're depressed. Yeah. yeah. Until you're not. And yeah, then you're like, oh exactly. shit, I was fucking whacked out. So true. Yeah. So That's true. So fucking true. Because you're only just sort of like surviving day to day and you're sort of in a slump. But it's not until yeah. you feel like the drastic 
opposite of that that you're like, oh my god, I was a zombie. For that <laughs> yeah, long. yeah, yeah. My god, I can't imagine that. It and makes it, you nicer though. It does. When you get fucking canceled like that, yeah, yeah. you're like very nice to everybody. <laughs> Everybody yeah, I met yeah, yeah. was like, hey, it's really, like, I'm so excited <laughs> yeah, to meet you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If Did I would have got SNL, I would have been like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I know. Don't fucking Wait, talk to me. Wait, uh, George, do you remember how we reacted to it at that time? Did we pile on or did we offer grace? Because we I want to be genuine about it. I don't want to be like, Shane, we're fine with it. But like, maybe we, did we say some shit we about were, it? Well, I, I, know I know remember he, what it was. What I know was that it? He, I know that he looked up something that I said on H3. Yeah. yeah. And what did I say? You basically were just saying what you had just said now about it's a comic. You didn't know what you found offensive about it. You could understand why people would be upset. Yeah. But you were saying yeah. it's a podcast. You perform on podcast. Yeah, I, I just, you know, I just find it to be sacred. You know, yeah, comedy to be sacred. I just feel like, you mean, once we start um, canceling jokes and yeah. bits, it's the end of our civilization yeah. as we know it. You know, and I just... You know, and also what he said was, <clears throat> I mean, Tony Hinchcliffe literally <laughs> said, you know what I mean? One more time for the chink. Like, like <laughs> in a mic, throughout a room. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, shit, dude. Is that when you're <laughs> depression was like, lifted? Woo, no, I knew, no, I knew, <laughs> yeah. I knew that was just going to bring more pressure to me. Uh, where it was like, oh, yeah. yeah, when his thing happened again. Everyone was like, it took Shane Gillis and Tony Hinchcliffe. Oh, oh God. God really? damn. Right, right, right. Yeah, but it, I, yeah. yeah Tony and look, did level up, though, huh? Tony got a little wild. <laughs> that, was wild. That, was, that was real wild. Yeah, yeah. He was having fun. <laughs> yeah, but all, again, that's another thing. I've said this before. It's like, um, you know, I've seen, I've said things like if at the store, if a gay comic brought me up, the kind of things that have come out of my mouth. Like one more time for the whatever, whatever. I, I will, I'll do it in the room, but not here. You yeah. Know what I mean? And they give it right back to you. And they give it right back. It's like you know, if I say something derogatory toward, you know, what I mean, a black guy or whatever, then he'll yell back and say something even worse about me. But it's all in love, and fun. Yeah. And the audience is laughing, and um, yeah. I mean, I just um, maybe it's because I'm also fifty now, almost fifty now. You know what I mean? And I've. I've seen it all. I know what's important, what I feel like, and what's mm -hmm. not important. Yes, and it's not. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. So anyway. Um, Did you lose any Asian friends? <laughs> no, I don't have any Asian friends. <laughs> <laughs> Never had no, any. no. Yeah. Everybody, no one cared. Yeah, the comic. Literally no one cared. Yeah. In real life, no one cared. It's so strange. Yeah. Yeah, I'm no. sure. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure there were a lot of people that oh, that did yeah. that did bother them. Of course. Mm. And uh, again, I I also understood why they fired me. It's not like it's not like when I when I found out, I was like, what? How uh, dare they? I was like, yeah, oh, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. Here's a video of me using a slur. It makes sense. Yeah, but so, but in many ways though, and uh, you, you don't have to answer this if you want to, but it kind of. Did something different for your career, definitely. In the sense that um, I feel like when people say your name, it's like a legit comedy entity. You know what I mean? Not just you know somebody that's going to be here that's one day, corporate. gone the next, yeah. but somebody that's like legit. Like like when I think of your name, I think of Andrew Schultz, Chris DeStefano. Guys, that I, I'm fr fr <laughs> yeah. I probably I don't know if you're friends with those guys. I am. Mark Normand, you know what I mean? Those types of guys, you know what I mean? And um, that's the vibe that you've done for yourself. I don't know, you know, and if you didn't have the talent and you were just, that's one thing, but you legitimately have the talent. I'm being real. I know. Yeah. and You know how I feel about compliments. <laughs> you hate it. I know. <laughs> yeah. Because I've been I've been seeing him all, all week and I give him he compliments. He has been watching you. All he gives me compliments. No, but I give him I'm when like, I see him, I give him compliments. He hates it. But I'm just I'm no. It's I'm being, very sweet. He, it's not the first sweet. thing he said I don't to give me a fuck came about up you. and was like, very I don't nice. care if you if you died, I wouldn't care. Of course, no. <laughs> no he's being honest. I, I understand. I, I'm being legitimately yeah. honest with you. It's like I would be sad if you died. Of no, course. I, but you know, what I mean, I'm being you know, I don't know what you're like as a person, but I'm just saying in terms of like how how I perceive. Who you are, how you know, I how I know what other how other comics yeah. perceive you and how we're we how we talk about you. And it's in in a in in a good lens, you know. It's like you're legitimate, you know. And I, I don't think that if two, three years ago, if you got on SNL that you would get the same kind of street credibility even. Mm -hmm. It's almost as if you went through something 
You know what I mean? That we, you, what are you looking at me like? Am I seeing the wrong thing? No. Why are you? What? <laughs> no, because because so because he does this thing where he has his pen in his hand and he's gonna write down something <laughs> like, note. "Wow, we're gonna have to edit that part." You know what I mean? Don't fucking do that. He's all you've seen is paper is race traitor. Ship station. Yeah. You guys, ship station is something that we use here at Tiger Belly. If you start an online store, if you have an online store, what you what you need to do is you need ship station. So you started your own online store. You're doing what you love, selling products people want, and orders are coming in fast. Well, what do you do? Uh, we we had the same problem. Now the hard part is shipping those products out. But luckily. Like us, you what you can do is get ShipStation because it makes it easy. With ShipStation, it's simple to import, manage, and ship your orders out fast for a lot less money. It's no wonder ShipStation is the number one ship sh shipping software for e-commerce sellers with more than five-star reviews than anyone else. No matter where you're selling, Amazon, Etsy, or your own websites, ShipStation funnels all of your orders into one simple interface that you can manage from anywhere, even your cell phone. Mm-hmm. Ship more in less time. Just use our offer code Belly to get a 60-day free trial. That's two months free of no hassle, stress-free shipping. Just go to ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and type in Belly. That's ShipStation.com. Enter offer code Belly. Make ship Ship happen. happen. Episode 321, Stevie and Jeremiah and the School of Shoulda, Coulda, Woulda. Yeah. So um, there's some bad news from your voyage and your experience that I heard on the phone. What are you talking about? Yeah. Well, if you want me to get into it, I will. Please do. Um, you saw the coach, Coach Branstetter. Oh, that was good news. We saw we. So we, my brother we, we, hunted we down Steve Coach with his Branstetter. Coach. The, his yeah. Not only did we hunt him down, we went to the new wrestling facility. Oh, you're wrestling. Oh, he yeah. A tour. He gave yeah. us a first hand tour. He unlocked it. He for unlocked us. it for us because the new coach was in. Vegas with the, at a tournament. Yeah, yeah. So he, he had key like we went. This is a two million dollar facility. Is your name still up there? In By the way, can I? Let, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go okay. ahead. I know you guys have talked about how you used to wrestle at Poway and stuff. Yeah. Steve is a celebrity there. His name is everywhere. His picture is everywhere. Up on the walls, behind glass cases, on plaques. What? It's amazing. Look at me, Steve. That. Yeah. Is that real? How's that is real. Feel, Steve, when you walk. I back feel bad for him though. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 all right, Bobby. So, yeah. Am I, I lying? I got offended on your behalf. Holy smokes. Right. What? It was the way, insane. The way he talked about you. It was you. insane. All right, so let's what did go. He say? Dude. Oh, he said, coulda, woulda, shoulda. He, he, <laughs> he goes, he, he goes, he goes, Bobby. He goes, Bobby. He goes, Bobby. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> he, he said Bobby graduated from the school of woulda, coulda, and shoulda. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> He said, Shut it, bro, bro, bro. All right, fuckers. Enough said. Dude, it's uh, crazy, dude. right? So coulda, woulda, it's shoulda. It's crazy. Dude, and you know what's the best part? What? We caught it on camera, so you can rewatch it over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, we have it on camera. Yeah, yeah. We vlogged everything. Did you explain to him, though? Just, dude, he, this is care. what he said. He's like, Oh, what? I heard he does comedy. Or he, he said it like all, but it was such a disrespect. It was such a dismissive <laughs> thing. He's like, oh, yeah, I heard he does. He, he goes, comedy. I guess he. <laughs> he goes, I, I guess he's a comedian or something now. Oh, oh dude, ow. we talked about it for like a half hour in his car. Like, dude, isn't that like he was in his own microcosm? Like, yeah, it made me realize like he, that's his world. What was your relationship with him when you were? Explain the story. Oh, all right. So in my junior year in high school, okay. I went to rehab. I went to the McDonald's Center. Okay. When I got, what's so fucking funny, dude? Keep going. No, no, no keep going. When this is I good. got out of the fucking McDonald's, what the fuck, bro? I love it. No, this is good. All right. So my junior year, right? So my senior year, I'm sober now. Okay. I had got uh, through the summer. I'd gone to a bunch of meetings, and and me and my sponsor at the time decided because I had to do so many credits in school to graduate that he said um, my sponsor was just like. 
you you have to cut weight down to 105. You weigh 125 now. Damn. I don't think that's a healthy thing. I think we should more focus on the schoolwork. Maybe take the year off because you don't really like wrestling anyway or whatever. So I went up to Coach Brandsetter. I remember it vividly. <laughs> I go, Coach. He's like, 105, right? We're getting ready. <laughs> and I go, I, I'm not going to wrestle this year. And he go, he looks at me like this. And that's the last exchange I've ever had with him. Oh, you're dead to him. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you bye bye? What do you mean bye bye? Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye, Bobby. I have your back. Oh, you have my back? Yeah. There's more to life than wrestling. I know. Oh. Not in his eyes. I, I, I know. No, that's and that's world. why he's a winner, man. <laughs> <laughs> he produces champions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, he, you know who graduated from the school woulda, coulda, shoulda with honors? Bobby Lee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Didn't Tom DeLong graduate from there too? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. No, but he didn't graduate from that school. He but he wasn't on the wrestling team. Yeah. The wrestling team was uh it's in a prestigious sporting event at our school. It's so nice, the new facility. The, the new facility Kalila. Kal- mm. The new facility is like a college. Like division one, yeah. Like a real they're, they're facility. It's probably section. still like number one. In oh, they're like nationally ranked. Yeah, 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 it's crazy. They have a slammers program now for kids. <laughs> <laughs> they hooked us up. You guys, yeah, we went to. Yeah, we got these there because Steve was there. He let us have whatever Everything. we wanted. He's like, oh yeah, take whatever you want. <laughs> no, no, if we if we would have gone with you, yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I don't know. But yeah, yeah, you know what, Bobby, you should go back. Wait, hold up, stop, stop, stop. Wait, hold up. You go back. Yeah, but this is the thing. You forgot to mention. That he was mad because he was sl- slated to wrestle varsity his uh. senior. So that's important, you know? How is that? Of course I was going to var- varsity 105 pounder. Yeah, a senior. I know. He so wanted- would you rather me fucking do meth and drop the weight and go fucking wrestle my senior year? Or did you? would you rather me be, be sober, which, which I did? Fat and sober. Fat and sober, dude. That's Can I like. ask you this? Did that put Technically, you? the coach can't say that he wants one or the other, but we know which one he wanted. <laughs> very, yeah. He's very yeah. Hollywood of him. Yeah. Yeah. Can I give Bob his gift? Yeah, give it. Give oh, it I it. get one? Yeah. Okay. My bad. Open, oh, can you know. open it up? Yeah. No, I, I wanted to say this. No, 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 no. What, what, what? Go don't, ahead. Don't go tell ahead. me. Okay, Please I'm not going to say me. nothing. <laughs> so this is not a birthday thing? or this is no, nothing? No, 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 no. No, Just open it up. Open it up. I will open it in a second, okay? But is this gonna hurt me? No, no. It's not gonna rub anything. This is all out of love. respect, dude. All right. it's, respect. it's out of respect. It's not gonna be a shirt that says "Shoulda, Coulda, Woulda." No, 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 University. No, no, no. Please, oh, please open it. Ah, uh, Jeremiah oh. smiling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can get that <laughs> merch. That. At the new merch at Tiger Belly. <laughs> shoulda, Coulda, Woulda. <laughs> <woulda. laughs> oh wow! Why'd you get him an XXL? <laughs> <laughs> he literally wears medium. <laughs> He that's literally all, wears that's media. All that they would give him because he thinks you're a fat piece of crap. Still. <laughs> oh, baby, come here, give it to me. I want Bob, do you want to say a message to the coach? <laughs> yeah, Bob, give Brandon a message right now, please. Give him a message, dude. You got to, dude. Tell him your credits, man. We need to reconcile. <laughs> tell him your movie credits, no, man. You got to let the world know, man. Go ahead, man. Right. Go ahead, man. Let Brandon or know. All right, man. All right. I'm okay. I'm kind of hurt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm kind of hurt. I think I can get through it. I, why are you so? It's why are you crazy. acting like that? Right? It's crazy. It's crazy, right? But can I? I'll be honest with you. Yeah. It does burn, <laughs> and I feel it. it. It burns in my heart. Damn. It's like a low burn <laughs> on the bottom half of my heart. Oh my god. And it's probably gonna linger there for a couple of weeks. It breaks me. Okay. No, don't put your fucking hand out yet. No, can I ahead, give you ahead. a saving grace? Can I give you a saving Please. grace? Okay, before we left, he said a lot of stuff about you. <laughs> you can see in the Scissor Bros episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But one of the things that I did yeah. before we left was yeah. I asked him, I said, hey, do you have any influence on the high school Hall of Fame? And he goes, I do know some people on the he board. He knows the board. So this is what I said. Oh this is what I said. Dude, no, just hear him As out. A fellow so, brother, shut the I fuck thought up. of this. Hey, come, come, wait, let, let, let me just get this straight, okay? You're gonna be on the. No, just, no, 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 no. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You, you want to make me cry right now? No, no, no. Really? Yeah, because if you tell me that I'm gonna be on the board and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be in the Hall of Fame, I will start to cry right the now. The Scissor Bros are gonna make that happen. Wow, you guys are gonna broker that deal? I he already, already emailed him. I already emailed him. I it's emailed gonna him happen. A beautiful email with your list of credits mm-hmm. and why you should be considered. Yeah. yeah. We're waiting on a response. Yeah, okay. this is real. <laughs> this is real, though. He says he has influence on the board. You two are so funny. Yeah. Wow. And, and, and you're going to be in the Hall of Fame of Poway. We're, we, 
Okay. You know, here's where I'm not very. <laughs> Please help hopeful. me, babe. Wait, 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 wait. Where, wait, why are you it's not all positive news, Tom wait. DeLong is not even on it. Well, forget Tom. It's but as we know with everything else, it's all who you know in that in that field, and he You're has right. he's a pillar of the community there. <laughs> and I asked him, I was like. Eh, is there any way, like, uh, he, okay? Yes. That being said, this is yes. the closest we've gotten. I'm just saying, dude, it's gonna I happen. My, it's gonna my, happen. I have my response to Coach Branstetter. Okay. With all, right. With all the information. Okay. 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 Think okay. about it. Okay. Think. Okay. About, please okay. think about it. I already just did. No, really, think it. He through. He tells me to think about it all the time. After <laughs> <I've already> <laughs> think <laughs> it through before right, you do right. it. Right. Now go. Okay, hold on. Call him Coachy. No. Voice of reason. Yeah. Like, hi, Coachy. No, I'm not gonna call him Coachy. Okay. Come on, babe. All right. Episode 279, Carlos Mencia. I made you, you mad. I'll tell you what, I made you mad in Honduras. <laughs> you, you, but that's because you didn't understand how scary that shit was. <laughs> I want to go to the beginning of this because he oh, let's start from, told... Let, but Mark Honduras, because I have to bring that up. Yeah, we'll yeah. bring that up later, but go no, ahead. But it's a Honduras thing. So Bobby has told some version uh. of the his <laughs> trip to Honduras yeah. and how... It you know somewhere like he was like floating on a river for nine hours, yeah. how all of that stuff. But he, it, I think it's a little lopsided. So I want to know, I want to know how it started, why you wanted to take him there, how long you guys stayed there. I well, first of all, like all of my openers, right? Whether they say good things or bad things about me, every single one is a much better comic today, having met me or having gone through that school of me mm -hmm. than they did before. Because I don't get openers. I get guys to work with me that I inevitably want to become headliners. It's not about opening for me. You can, If that was the case, I would just go to every comedy club and tell them to book the openers and features. It's more about teaching them, you know, all the stuff that I learned and passing kind of that knowledge on. But with Bobby, it was because Bobby always complained about his dad. And, you know, being an adopted person myself and having a father that I respect... I always kind of picked people that needed parental figures to for some for some fucking reason. I, I don't know what it was about me that wanted that. But, you know, Steve Trevino had issues with his dad. Bobby has issues with the dad. Chris Stella has issues with their dad. You know what I mean? Um, all of these guys have issues. You know what I'm saying? Joe Coy, like, you know, all of these people. And so I brought them in to try to help them out, but also to try to help them as human beings. And, and what I wanted to teach Bobby by taking him to Honduras was this could have been our life as immigrants. This could have been us. This is where we could have ended up. Mm. And at, at our best, at our best, we would have been the dude that owned the little tiny, you know, five horsepower motor that took us up that fucking river. Like in, 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 in to us, right? To his story, it's like, oh my God. And, they literally got a tree, cut it down, carved out the inside of it, put a little tiny five to eight uh, horsepower engine in the back that went <laughs> up the river. Yeah, yeah. Right? So for us, it was like these guys were scared out of their minds. They were like, what the fuck is this? You know what I mean? Well, it, it, it takes a couple of planes to get there to even to the point where right. we're on a boat, right? Well, now there's it's different. But yeah, back, back then, then it was like we had to fly to Seba, then we had to fly to Palacios, then in Palacios, we had to take that five hour or six hour trip up the river yeah 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 so that <laughs> was real i'm not exaggerating that was real oh no 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 oh no 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 this was rustic in the middle of nowhere <laughs> and it's also in the boat ride it's at night some of it yeah. right so toward it's the end, like toward the end. there's no electricity and imagine you're this is fucking you know you know some like uh last of the mohican shit yes pretty yeah, much it's, yeah it's like you're in a river you you look on the you go what is that and it's like a floating carcass of a cow yes right it's pretty scary <laughs> yeah and then when you turn off the motors you hear like <laughs> yeah all that kind of shit <laughs> no you really do though you really what? hear you hear like all the scary shit that is in movies where you're about to get killed or uh -huh. something in, in the woods yeah like, like whatever that foley guy does yeah, like yeah, that yeah. Go, 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 <laughs> like all that shit yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? I'm not kidding. Yeah. I'm not kidding. Like all that shit. Yeah. Snakes everywhere. That's why what he did scared the fuck out of me because he, he to him it was just a joke. I'm gonna fuck with him, but to me it was like I almost died, dude. Yeah. I almost died. You don't understand. You can get you get killed here with that. So shit. what happened was, was it's like we're in a village. Uh -huh. It's late at night and I'm trying to sleep. Okay. <laughs> and I hear something that makes me giggle. And what I hear is <clears throat> Carlos and Sia 
laying on his back. Had my headphones on, right? Headphones on. Yeah, yeah. Outside on a porch, some sort of porch. Yeah. And he's singing. Do you remember what he was singing? I don't remember. I do. Was it uh, Blink-182? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Was were, it Bush? No, you were I singing Sinead O'Connor. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Black boys on mopeds. Okay. Okay. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Cool. Right. And so you were getting really emotional. About I got it. I got it. <laughs> right. So I decided to sneak out of my bed and to slowly, you know, <laughs> creep up on him. Right. And he's on his back. I think he's crying. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's like really getting probably. Emotional. Yeah. He's really getting emotional with the song. Right. Yeah. yeah. And I, just, I, I have emotional outlets. Music is one. Yeah. Of yeah. And I go, ah! and I grab the head. <laughs> I grab his head, top of his head. Yeah. Right. I thought he was going to send me back home. I mean, he, what the fuck, bro? You know, right. like he got fucking yeah. angry, dude. But earlier that day, I had gone to my dad's farm where they had just killed six snakes. Like very, like some one of the po- most poisonous <laughs> snakes. Yeah, yeah. So that shit's in my head. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I did get pissed off, but I was pissed off because it was like, joke about other shit. <laughs> Don't joke that I'm gonna get fucking killed. <laughs> I, I literally thought I was gonna die. Yeah, like yeah. I literally and oh fuck, it bit me. You know what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I look over and he's like, like a, like, like, a, like a fucking Japanese woman. What the? I'm so sorry. I too far. I go too far. You know what I mean? Yeah. So then on that at that moment, I said, "You fucking hurt me. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna hurt you back." Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. And she is what, but, but I'm not a dick like that. That's yeah. not the kind of hurt. Uh-huh. He's a great, great ping pong player. Thank you. Great ping pong player. Thank you. Best I've ever played. Oh. I'm Thank you. okay at times. But I, I said to myself, by the time we fucking leave, I'm going to beat you one fucking game, dude. Just one fucking game. I'm going to find out how to play you, not anybody else, just you. Yeah. And two days before we came back, I beat him. And he was so fucking pissed that oh he didn't God. play me anymore. I never played him. He again. is a pretty sore loser. A sore too. loser. There was a guy though. I remember we were, we were <laughs> playing ping pong in Honduras. Jaime. What? Jaime. His name is Jaime. The, the guy, guy that I, was playing you. Well, there was a guy that traveled from a different town to play me. Yeah. Yeah. Is that who he is? I think it was Jaime. Jaime. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he had traveled. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like took a horse. By the way, and got on a boat. Yeah, right? yeah. But yeah. traveled sounds like a big deal over there at the time because <laughs> it was yeah, it was quote unquote far. Yeah, how here, many miles was it? Here it was like he came from Encino. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, he came all the way from Encino. Yeah, yeah. But how how it far was, was it? It was more Sherman Oaks. Yeah. Sherman Oaks. You know what I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. It was down the street. Yeah. So it was. It wasn't that far. It was far. I mean, it. But it's it, you know. That's what I wanted you to see. Like, yeah. I wanted you to experience that that family that, yeah. that they are. Like there, there's a village, and they heard there's a great player, and they was like, "Oh, let's go check it out." You know what I mean? It was another thing that he was did amazing. Was he did what I've always dreamt of doing, in showing you know technology to people that they haven't seen it. Oh, okay. right to blow their minds. Like, are you from the future? Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean. Yeah. So what he did, he had one house that had a generator. Because a lot of the places didn't have electricity. The town didn't have electricity. No electricity. No electricity at all. There's, there's one house, with, and he brought an Xbox, <laughs> right, for the kids. Yes. Or when we played that, what's that game? Cal- Soul Calibur. It's not Soul Calibur. <laughs> yeah, Soul, Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur. That was right. on the Dreamcast. Yeah, and yeah. the kids, all the village kids would come in. Yeah. And play, it would blow their, imagine. Yeah. It blew their fucking minds. Like, the, it, let alone, they've never really seen a TV, right? And then all of a sudden, you can play these and I had a solar panel set up so we could play during the day. Yeah. Because we had electricity 24-7 because yeah. I set it up so that you guys would have somewhere to turn on your computer stuff or whatever it was. So It was also the one and only place where I saw um, a pig die. First. Oh, that's right! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Do you remember how they killed it? Episode 282, Chris Catan and the Upper Middle. Do you miss those days, SNL days, or no? You know, I, yeah, I do because uh, because it was so. Well, you know the. Well, wait, you weren't in front of. Were you in front of an audience? We did, yeah, yeah. but it was like taped. It wasn't live. Oh, well, or don't anything. make fun of us. I so mean, you guys were like taped, right? Yeah, we fucking right. taped. So it. you we could like live. edit and shit. We edited, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> <laughs> right. Upper, upper. Middle class. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, no, you were. Uh, How what, was it? Nerve? Uh, it was. It was. I do miss it. Yeah, but not like oh my god, I miss it. My decision leaving 
you know, but it's uh, yeah, I, I do miss it sometimes because there's nothing like it, obviously. So because when we, but it's so stressful that what if I were to go back there, like if Lauren was all of a sudden like, oh, come back, let's just be uh, spontaneous. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, if I yeah. came back and I and I was back in the cast for some weird reason. Uh, I'd probably be like, this is not. It's too stressful. Yeah, it's very stressful. Yeah, because um, with with us, I remember, you know, when we do a live sketch, right. We would do a take in front of a live audience, right? But then they would give us notes. Oh, wow. that's interesting too, right? So they would we, you, they would cut, and then they, and then you would have a bunch of writers and producers go, "Don't say that line. Say this right some, after the scene." Is it like, right? Yeah. So they'll they'll or give that us part of the scene. No, right. we'll do the no. whole sketch. Right, right, right. They'd cut it, right? Because we would shoot it live, right? And then they would give us notes, j- jokes. You know what I mean? And, right. And, and quick edits, and then you would do it again. Right. Right. I can't imagine that's like similar. that's similar. No, because process. you guys just we did it one time. Rehearsal. We have a dress rehearsal though. Ah, uh, to a, in front of a live audience, but it's not, uh, it's not a live show. It's not the one that people are going to see on television. Ah, uh, so we do have that. Uh, so we have that. <laughs> I like how you do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we do have uh, an opportunity to do what you did and see if jokes work or not. Like, it's a two-hour show that we do, and we already know there's going to be a half-hour cut. Wow. Well, so right, right. But so, we have that time to uh, uh, give notes and stuff. But were you? I can only. I can imagine that in the beginning of each show, you would be. I because for me, if I was on, because being on Mad TV look, felt like we were on community theater. Like it didn't there, right. there was no stakes. It didn't feel like mm-hmm. the yeah. stakes were high. And it came across that way. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the real you by by the way that's me yeah, yeah. but um i'm such a dick <laughs> yeah no, no but with i can't imagine i always think too when i was on mad going i wouldn't be able to do snl because just the pressure of it you know what i mean so i mean were you like the night before like sleepless because you were so nervous uh no i was more it's if you're you know i was like if you're busy enough you won't be sleepless you know right right and I usually had a pretty good show. Lauren was giving to me, so and he, he put my stuff in, so he trusted me. Right, so right. I was right. one of the luckier ones. I was a little bit on the upper, upper middle class. I mean, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No. But no, he was. Uh, I got a lot of my stuff, in, so it wasn't as bad of uh, as stressful as uh, some others may have. Wait, who was on your your generation on the show? It was Will? it was one of the best. I think it was yeah. Will, hey. Tina, Jimmy, Seth. Polar, mm. uh, Rachel Dratch, uh, Harry, oh, yeah, oh the, my the, God, Brett Armstrong, great, great, Molly, Molly, yeah, um, yeah. Gosh, yeah. Uh, Bill Murray, Chevy Chase, no, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, who else? Uh, yeah, it was a good cat. It was a great cat. Oh, what? Yeah, it's a, it's a really good class. Will Arnett, great, right? or Forte. God, there's so many Wills. Yeah, yeah, Will Forte, Forte, yeah, not Arnett, because it was like obviously the old school, the beginning, right, right. And then there was the generation, you know, the Eddie Murphy, Joe Piscopo. <laughs> yeah. That was a little weird. That was a weird time. It wasn't like super But that was strong. like the, not to be rude to the others in the cast, but that was like the Eddie Murphy time, I think. That's when I started watching SNL, because I was like, this guy is insane. It's so really good. good yeah, you know? yeah. And that's so fun to watch in comedy, just like seeing that guy that just lifted the bar. Yeah. And you're just waiting for everyone else to go up to that bar now, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's like, well, everybody's going to have to compete with this guy because he's so good. And then you That's had. so exciting. That doesn't happen that often anymore. It doesn't. It just doesn't, you know? You're waiting for who's the next hero. Right. You know? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I think. That's another to be discussed. And then you had the Dana right. Carvey, right. John Lovitz, um, that general, Phil Hartman. Right, right. David Spade, yeah, Schneider, all those guys, one. Adam yeah. Sandler. Dennis right? Miller, right. And then your wave was great. You know what I mean? So That's what I grew up to because when, to, to to when I came from the Philippines, Philippines. at 15, that was. You had a was, small tel- television. <laughs> we had a big television oh, back home, but we rich. didn't have American she programs. Oh, we were rich upper, 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 We were up. She was oh, upper, upper. Yeah, you were. <laughs> Only in the first you part of my life. You told me your dad was like a fucking, you know. A, yeah, but then he lost. He made some a, bad money. An admiral money. for sort of fleet or something. <laughs> he's a ga- he had a, he was a, he had gambling issues. My, oh my God, how did you know this? You just said he lost uh, something. Well, no, he but made he some really money bad part. money moves. Um, oh, but he yeah. comes from old money. My dad was a very, it, all like, his side of the family. Like very Scrooge? Rich. When I first came, to the, first came to the United States, I hadn't really watched any SNL growing up because there's right. only a few American programs that made it back home. Gary Shandling made it back home. Mm. The other things, Wimbledon tennis, stuff like that. Yeah, th- those go hand in hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Episode 283, The Supertaliation.
we have some videos that we some people send in not too many but uh just telling a, a story uh-huh. from valentine's day because valentine's day is coming up and then you guys can just like i guess choose who had like the most entertaining story and they only had 90 seconds to share it we'll go hey bobby kalila george um gilbert uh so my story valentine's story is was the reason why i think i hate valentine's day um so i was like 22 years old um fell in love with this one girl and I went to go buy her a like a, a watch with a diamond on it and it was like the first diamond that I've ever bought in my life so um you know I'm all excited I got, get to the store and you know I'm um, pretty jazzed about it and then I come to find out on Valentine's Day when I give it to her that she cheated on me oh. and uh, we broke up on Valentine's Day so <laughs> And the worst part was, is that when I went back to the store to return it, and I was just like devastated. Um, I went to go return it, and then the same lady that sold me the watch was uh, the person taking the return, and she was just like, "Oh, she didn't like it." And I was like bawling in front of this lady. Oh. Um, but yeah, that was my Valentine's story. I thought I thought the story was gonna go, <laughs> and the same one. lady said, "No refunds." <laughs> <laughs> You know, I told you yeah, already. I told you already. You know what I mean? No, no reason. Read, read the sign. Stop crying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, it, uh, to me, that's a happy story because at least he got his money back. Yeah. Money back and you dodged found out. Dodged a cheater. Right. Dodged a cheater. Yeah. Right. And um, I, that, that was a happy story. Yeah. Good ending. Yeah. Have any of you guys been cheated on? Yes. On Valentine's Wait, Bobby, Day? have you ever been cheated on? I don't think he ever has. I no. don't think he's ever been dumped. Or do you yet. secretly think you are? So you immediately end the relationship yourself because you're like quick like that. I don't think I care. Oh, well, that's not good either. Not, yeah, yeah. I think you're supposed to care about the relationship. <laughs> you're in, right? I don't think I would care. Yeah, I don't think I would care. We, ca- I, we have been, him and I have been rejected a lot, but I don't think, I, I've, I've been cheated on, but I've never been dumped. Not, just cheated not on. Not on Valentine's Day. Right, we have one more. We because if I would no, this is bad backup. So let, let's think about a relationship I was in. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, so one time I was dating this girl named Amy. Mm-hmm. And I, <laughs> poor George, as they keep bleeping things. <laughs> and and I was flying to Italy or something for something, not Italy, fair, France to shoot a IBM commercial, mm-hmm. and I remember. I was at a bar with a bunch of people and I turn around and I look down this alleyway and I see a guy holding Amy's hand and she's like pushing it away and he's doing th- like, you know, like doing this. Like so caressing And it. she's like kind of yeah. like moving away from him like this. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought, I remember just feeling joy that it was over. Oh. Why when she didn't do anything wrong? But you could tell that she was with this guy. Oh, no. Oh, too. Why did I mean? you feel joy? I don't know. Let's go to the next video. Okay. Let's. Uh, <laughs> let's happy Valentine's. Happy, happy Valentine's. Valentine's. Wait, hang on a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Suppress it. You're gonna you're gonna dislike that I remember this story about you and her that you told me. Okay, go ahead. You were about to leave for France or Germany or wherever the hell that IBM commercial was. Yeah. And it was your final night together. And um, you went to dinner with your manager and your agent, okay. and you didn't invite her, and she she cried. Okay, so here's what happened. Okay, this is the truth, and I, I I'm so I am so fucked the bum that you even remember that. So now I have to now I have to redo this story. <laughs> so hold on a second, okay? So what happened was, I booked this IBM commercial, and I go, I'm gonna have a dinner with my agent and my manager. I didn't invite Amy, okay, mm-hmm. which was the wrong thing to do, right? And I wasn't leaving for another couple of weeks, right? So, and then two weeks later, right before I'm going to go, I went to her one man, one woman show or something, mm-hmm. right? <clears throat> and it wasn't at a bar. It was at that show where I turned the corner and she had, because I didn't invite her to, you know what I mean, the, the dinner with my manager agent, she drifted apart mm-hmm. from there. And then she met a guy, right? And I caught her with that guy. Wait, you weren't officially oh. over yet? No, it it was one of those things that we were sleeping together and all that stuff, but we, we didn't really talk about what we really were. Oh, mm. then you could, didn't have to invite her to the dinner then if she wasn't. No, your... at, at that point, I should have because we were an, an item. 
Okay. You're being a little bit with fuck boy and vague with your answers. Were you or were you not? Was it just a situation <laughs> Next video. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. I would say about two years ago. Wait, this guy looks like me. Had planned you know, same nose. A surprise LA trip uh, for Valentine's Day. We went in the room, um, had some ideas what we were going to do. And then right before we were about to leave, she gives me my gift. Um, it was in a little box, and there were these bud chocolates. Like, it looked like marijuana, but they were chocolates, which was dope. And then the second surprise was two tickets to see Bobby Lee on Valentine's Day at the comedy store. And me being a comedy fan, it was like a dream come true, actually going to the comedy store and experiencing it and seeing the names up on the wall. And... Um, like even now, I, I miss it. Even only being there once, and I, I miss it, you know. Um, but that was my Valentine story. The bud chocolates. Oh, here it is. Oh, that's so weird. Is it? Oh yeah, it's not making. Yeah, yeah. Sure. No, it's this. It's the one. Oh, no way. <laughs> no fucking way. Who are we going to go see? I'm going to see Bobby Lee. <laughs> Let's go, baby. That's nice. You are Korean Elvis. You are the Korean. That's, <laughs> why, Shut I, up. that's why I wanted to show Shut that. Shut the fuck up, all right? Maybe you are Korean And Elvis. you know what you are, babe? You're the uh, Filipino Aaron Sorkin. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you always got a fucking... That's a compliment. I know. Maybe yeah, I am the Filipino good. Aaron Sorkin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was really nice. That was really sweet. Really nice. I yeah. couldn't stop. I could. He looked so much like me. Like he could be it's a relative. Those, it's one yeah. of those face things. Mm -hmm. Episode three hundred: David Cho, Stephen Yun, and the Lord of Bobby Lee Rings. How did Lord of the Rings end? The hobbits bow to the king, and you're you're trying to make up this thing like I'm the king, right? And what did the king do? What? He bows to the hobbit. Wow. <laughs> what is happening? What the fuck? What is happening? I bought a you, dude. <laughs> Don't do it again, please. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> audio listeners they are bowing wow <laughs> i i'm not a newbie to this program i i haven't taken a drink or or drugs in 17 you know you would say shit like that mm. and i'd be like okay i'm happy for you i'm telling you i'm just starting this because i would only say that if you kind of poked at me right you know what i mean like trying to it's trying to like teach me about some shit about recovery you were and then my at, defense would have been at me my defense would have sat down in this room i don't poke you you poke yourself Oh, I poke. Oh, thank you, baby. Come here. You help me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Five. It's a bow break. Bow break. Bow break, guys. <laughs> oh my god. It's a hard oh, you reset. You get up first. No, you get up first. Yeah, I will. Okay. Why? No, you're the king. You get up first, and then. No, I'm not gonna get up. You get up first. Clara, do something. It's just a bow break, guys. Man, Bobby shivering, it's crazy. Episode 284, Maddie Matheson. You know, I'm glad you came on the show because I feel like you and I have very, a lot of similarities. Mm. Do you think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of similarities between lot, I'm like, yeah. I really like you a lot. I you like I mean? you. I didn't know anything about you. Well, I've divulged more on this than my own podcast, so it's good. Wow. I, oh. felt, I, feel, I feel it's a warm face and a nice person, and it's nice. <laughs> You hear that? Warm face, warm nice face, person. Nice person. Wait, wait. Warm face, nice person. Warm face. On your tombstones, that's what it'll say. Yeah. Warm <laughs> face, nice person. Do I have a warm, warm face, nice person. Do I have warmth and or no? One of your adopted dogs will have a couple boxes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't, so you, you, before you came, I mean, we talked a little bit before, because mm. I, I want to just address this. Um, <laughs> so you went to Vietnam. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. To Vietnam, yeah. We're going right. back to that. And, um, yeah. You tried to eat dog? 
I didn't try to eat dog. So we were there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we were with uh, this kind of at. We had this French. Uh, what do you call people? Expat. Mm-hmm. We had this like kind of asshole French expat that was taking yeah. us around. Yeah. And and he kind of asked. He was like, "Hey, do you want to see like the the dog market?" Yeah. And we were just like, ah, "Is it okay?" <laughs> yeah, I yeah. love that. I love that. Just a like, quick. Are you getting mm-hmm. texts? No, no. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Did that annoy you? No, I liked it. I would, <laughs> it's so weird that you. It's so because is that what you do? No, because I did it so quickly. But I saw you were indifferent with my conversation. No, no, no. I went. Oh, 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 I'm about to start talking about the dog market. No, 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 no. You're like, hey, how, what, what color are your eyes? <laughs> no, 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 no. Excuse me, Maddie. You're like, hey, how much do you weigh? Maddie, Maddie, Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie, that's not what I was doing, Maddie. Mommy, that is what I saw. I am so glad you called him out on that. Let what me I just saw. say, let me just say, it's not just what you saw; it's what happened. It is what happened. It's him. It's his heart. <laughs> What's your part in that? Fuck you What's guys. What's your part in that? I'll tell you my part of it. All right. I'm not right. gonna finish my story. That's either. like a fighter checking the time. No. Yeah. Oh. You're like, how long have we been talking? Oh, to no, this no, guy? no, 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 oh, no, no. Unbelievable. Okay, all right. Now, since you brought it up, since you brought it up, let me be real with you. <laughs> me- I have a heart out. No, no, since you brought it up, let me be real with you. Though. In texts? No, Maddie, let me be real with you for a second, okay? Bobby, please. Since you fucking brought it up, please. all right? So when I, I, I thought to myself, right? Yeah. I love this guest, mm. right? Let's just go. I could do this forever. Forever. Right? So when, when for, and then once I thought that, I'm like, what time is it? He's an ADD <laughs> kid, to be Yeah, fair. in my head, I'm like, yeah, what? Me too. Yeah, in my head, it's like, me what too? time is it, right? So I had a positive thought. I like this guy a lot. Right, I want to talk forever. Right, and then the next thought: What time is it? So once I thought that, I got, I just touched the phone, mm. and I was gonna f- f- with my uh, what periphery, periphery. peripheral vision. Yeah. Right. Look at the time. Mm. What? Right. Mm-hmm. So that's what happened. Right. Yeah. So let me uh, let me say something to you. Let me do a formal apology. <laughs> what you just did there doesn't Make bother me. Amend. What you just did right there doesn't bother me. Make I know amend. what you just did. So, all, right, all right. So here. Here. Oh, on his knees. Put the glue on your thumb. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm going to do what you tell me to do. your thumb. I'm going to do what you tell me to do, right? Okay. What I did there, right, was nothing. It was. But you're on your knees. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, something. Maddie, that you perceive that to be me being indifferent. See, that's to your gaslighting. It wasn't a perception. It wasn't a perception. It was reality. It was reality. You asked me a question about going to Vietnam and going to a dog market. That's a pretty intense subject. Uh-huh. Then at that moment, you're like, <laughs> okay, you're right. You're right. Maddie? Maddie, look at Maddie. 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 Plant based. <laughs> Maddie? So I went to Vietnam. Don't go to Vietnam. French expat. French expat. Dog asshole. Market. Who yeah. cares? <laughs> we go to this. <laughs> Episode 324. Judd Apatow and the Pineapple Express trailer incident. When I moved into town, I mean, obviously we had the reg like guys like Carl LeBeau. I don't know if he's from that time. Yeah, you're like Carl. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, I'm just fascinated. That's what like when I see Marshall Warfield or somebody mm-hmm. at the comedy store, I always go up to, and say hi. Yeah, and go welcome back. I you know. But I really, think- what happened at Pineapple Express? <laughs> We'd actually it love to know. It seems like a running, a running discussion of your trailer. Or, <laughs> I feel like you were disrespected in some way. I, feel like I don't take a responsibility for any of it, by the way. I, we should I, run it I back. Have people like... who are supposed to manage you correctly. Uh, but, but what happened? What happened? Episode there? one, I think, was dedicated to your um, the pain you felt. <laughs> of what Pineapple Express? I think so. I think we dedicated a whole episode. What 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 pain? You shared you shared pain and t- anger towards that. Oh, I, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have a trailer for you. That's what I heard you say. Okay, okay, okay. But let me just say one thing. When I heard you say that, first of all, <laughs> I want to be honest about it because I don't want you to feel I don't want you to feel bad about it. But I am a super <laughs> people pleaser. <laughs> There's nothing I want more than every actor or crew person to feel very respected. So the idea that you showed up and they didn't have a trailer for you. No, 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 you have it wrong. Everyone in the room has it wrong. Okay, here we go. It's your side. So I was a crybaby. Yeah. 
All right, so let me just apologize. I'm a little bitch baby. Okay? <laughs> bitch baby Bob. So you guys had trailers for me yeah. every time I was there except for one day. Yeah. Okay? And that was the day when you guys had a lot of people just mm-hmm. shooting that day. You had... I don't know, 30 or 40 fucking people that are on the cast list. You know what I mean? The big fight scene. Yeah, it's chaos, right? Production is chaos, right? And you guys said to me, for one day, can you just stay here with these people? Yeah. Which happens to be the extras. It's fine. (laughs) (laughs) Say that one more time. More believable. That's never okay. No, it was with the um, (laughs) background... Background actor. The right background actor, and which I made very good relationships. Still talking very, to this day. Never, don't know what they look like. Okay. But my point so is- our numbers were wrong. We, we didn't realize how many people were there, and we didn't have the room for you. And of every person there, yeah. we thought you were the one who would take the hit. <laughs> okay. We could have done it to Ken Jeong. We could have done it. But you did it. We, we could have done it to Craig oh, Robinson okay, okay. or yeah. Kevin Corrigan or Gary Cole. There were so many people there. But for some reason, they went down that sheet and they said, <laughs> let's let Bobby sit with, the, with all the, with the extras. Oh, God. Atmosphere, by the way. All right. Way. So <laughs> you're right. But I made a mistake. Yeah. And I made a call to my agent at the time. Yeah. Oh, and from what I heard, not from you, mm-hmm. but from somebody else that was involved in production, that he raised his voice and he was angry. At us. At not you specifically. No, but he called us angry. Yes. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And I go, why did you do that? You just made a big deal out of nothing. In fact, I left that agency after that. Not right after that, but like six months after that. My mm-hmm. point being is, is that we made a complaint. Um <laughs> And secondly, here's another thing that I did that I never said out loud. Reveal it. And I'm going to reveal it to you. And I want You left a turd in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> in the trailer. It smeared it all over. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> no in fact, those, to poo in those trailers is difficult. Yeah, yeah. They, could get, they get stuck yeah. on the sides. Yeah, yeah. So you got to take a bottle of water and do a, your own fucking You're thing. just like me. I just want to say this is why I like you. <laughs> Because, yeah, yeah. like, the description of, like, cleaning the poo remnant off the side <laughs> of the trailer toilet. Like, most people, you know, Mel Gibson's not cleaning off the side. <laughs> He's just like, someone will get that later. Right. Me and you are like, let me get that. I can't. And there's no one. We'll never, we'll never, we'll never meet the person that cleans it. Or, yeah, yeah. The whole production. But yeah. we will do that. Yeah, yeah, we will. I, yeah. What, what? You are lying to Judd through your teeth. <laughs> he wouldn't clean it? He would never. I. He would call me to come over and clean it. That's a fact. There we go. Call he is me. not his. He is not. He doesn't. This is 2007, Bobby. Lee. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Judd. <laughs> Who cared more? And about I just that. want to say something to you, my yeah. friend. My, my girlfriend, I mean. Uh-huh. All right. Is, is that um, when I do that, right, it's not because of, for me and my, I care about my environment. I care about whoever has to clean it after me and whoever maintains those trailers. Mm-hmm. So I just d- didn't want them to see that I had pooed. Wet. He's also pooed in the back of our Prius, a and car, I've had to. Yeah. In the car. It. On in a the frisbee. Car. On a frisbee. And on then, a paper plate as well, and I've had to collect it. Okay, he doesn't but need when, to know that information. But, where, <laughs> but, the, but the, the key question is, where does it go right after? I threw it in a dumpster, and I, this is information that I don't think Mr. Judd Apatow wants <laughs> to know, that I put in my Prius. <laughs> I'm but was it because there was nowhere to go? I have. Well, during the pandemic, oh, let's. God. Here's a good example. <laughs> <laughs> let's get into this. Yeah. Um, nobody, yeah. you couldn't just walk into any establishment yeah. and say, "Can I use your restroom?" Everyone was like, "Nope, our restroom." Thank you. Cool. So we were outside of my dermatology um, office, and I was like, "For the love of God, please do not poo." He's like, "I have nowhere else to go." <laughs> so wait a second, but you can have like your pimples popped, but he can't poo. <laughs> in a in a public toilet. Thank you. Correct. So what I did, I Thank was like, you. <laughs> "Nice one, Jim. you know what? That's nice gonna just a little side note yeah. before we even continue. That's why I love this guy, man. I know little, little details. <laughs> yeah, you know, little details <laughs> to back my uh, ma- I was back actually going to offer you a compliment okay. because this time around he put down a Trader Joe's bag before yeah. he pooed on top of it. Before that, he would just bareback it. Yeah, and go right into the oh the, Jesus the car <laughs> yeah. upholstery. Yeah. Um, this time around, he did think to put something underneath, yeah. and then he packed it up himself. And, and then where did you have put be- it? Yeah. I went to the nearest the dump- outside dumpster, and I, you know, sometimes yeah. they're locked, right? I didn't put it on top. I found one that was unlocked. Courteous. Yeah. I, thank you so much. And I double bagged it. No one smelled anything. Let's move on from it, okay? It's funny because with poop, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
you have different phases of life where you you feel differently about it. Like there's yeah. periods of your life where like it's shameful and the door <laughs> locks and yeah. you clean up and you don't want anyone to know what happens. But then there's other moments in your life where like you literally could just lift your leg like a dog yeah. and not care and, and understand like living in the woods and just like, why do we care? Why are we ashamed? <laughs> You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me a fucking That's frisbee. That's exactly what I wanted to say. I couldn't articulate it as well. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I don't even know if, if I said articulate right. <laughs> I don't think you did. I don't think I did right, but that's, thank you so much for doing that, my friend. But, but what did you do at Pineapple Express that you're ashamed of? Oh, God, I thought This I was, is your I revenge thing. Now you have to reveal it. All right, so, and this is so shameful for me, and it's so funny because the AD, right, is the same AD that does a show that I'm on called Reservation Dogs on mm -hmm. FX. Yeah. And um, I apologized for her about this to, when I saw her, when I worked with her. Oh. Is, so there was a scene where I got shot in the head by Seth Rogen mm -hmm. in the movie. Yep. Oh, I feel so shameful. And afterwards, they go, just lay your body down here because we need it for, you know, what do you call it? Um, you know the word. Continuity. Continuity. Mm -hmm. That bodies always have to be there, right? But there were some angles where they were shooting wides and stuff where mm -hmm. I just knew for a fact. I'm not in the shot. I'm not in the shot. <laughs> <laughs> we made you lay there all day. <laughs> right. <laughs> is that me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like that this <laughs> is considered a nice thing I did for you. <laughs> Impactful. Yeah, yeah. Impactful. Thank you for that. This, really uh, helped, with, this yeah. helped the career. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there was so there was a time, like an hour or two in, a couple of setups. I just stood up and I go, I'm not laying there anymore. Yeah. <laughs> right? And they're like, well, it'd just be better if you did. And I remember being kind of a bitch about it. Mm -hmm. And it's just something that I would never do now. Like, I would lay there for three days. But how long was it at that point? How, how long? Like, just, on and off? I mean, at or... the end of the day, probably 30 minutes. The better question is, like, what? you look pretty. It's a relaxing thing to do. Why wouldn't you just lay there a little longer? Well, that probably the fake blood probably gets all gooey. Thank you. <laughs> this flies stuck to it. But not only that, you don't understand that there's a metal plate in my head. Uh -huh. What? Oh. There was a metal plate in my head because they had to put an explosive on the other side of the metal plate. <laughs> oh, you're, you're laying on a metal plate. Yeah, so when he's shooting me, right, yeah. there's an explosive, right? So now I'm laying, not only there's sticky blood, mm -hmm. but there's a metal plate into my brain. So is this the thing you're ashamed of that you got up? That I didn't uh -oh. sit there forever and I apologize. Okay, well that's actually Those not are too two bad. things. But you know how you know we were abusive to you? <laughs> and you've said this before and I disagree, go ahead. Is that you got up and we were like, all right. <laughs> you know, like we didn't need you. <laughs> you weren't in the shot. <laughs> right, Can I right. tell you something that's like terrible about yeah. maybe the early stages of my career? Go ahead. There is nothing I would have found funnier than to make you lay in blood all day <laughs> off camera telling you you're on camera. Like, I wouldn't do that now, but as a young person. <laughs> So you fucking knew? No, I'm, I'm saying I, I don't knew. think that's what happened. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's the kind of thing that would have made me laugh. Like, Bobby doesn't even know he's not on camera. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Like, we did, uh, you know, uh, Happy Gilmore, you know, with our friend Alan Covert. Uh-huh. Episode 288, The Baby Shower. Boom, 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 it's George's day. Da, 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 da. It's a baby day. Oh, God, he's dancing. Da, 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 da. He's dancing. He's doing Trump, Trump dance. Da, 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 da. That is a Trump, Trump dance? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. a Trump dance He's doing sure. Trump, Trump dance. Whoa, Just, oh, God. Do? You're all shoulders, yeah, George. Four, You're jerking five, off rock. two guys. <laughs> five o'clock, rock. Anyway, um, welcome. I didn't even know we were going to do this today. I was down here. <laughs> no, not not that I I want to celebrate the baby, but um, I was down here. I was playing my video games, mm -hmm. going I'm just because I have so much to do tomorrow, and I've you know this and that, and I was just like, ah, today is my day, just to relax. I'm still I also I'm still I don't feel that well physically, and um, and I hear his voice, you know, come into the garage, and I um, my reaction is like. First rage, you know, ra like what is he doing here? Does he have something to do with like some ads? Nothing first? new, right? No, the rage is nothing new. No, no. If I expect George, there's no rage. Hmm. Oh, I but if it's a surprise, George. So what's he supposed to do to unsurprise you? Not be here. 
No, whenever you have your headphones on, I always like just yeah. say something when I walk in to make sure I don't like shock you. And then a shock rage is going to be the what, one. What do you say? Do you make just a noise, like a little whistle? Howdy, Bobby. Yeah, oh, yeah, no. he does something oh, like no. that. Yeah. Then he goes, a do, 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 do. Oh, God, stop. Nine o'clock, <laughs> 10 o'clock. And then he, um, then uh, then I, the, the realization is like, oh, yeah, I think we are doing something. Oh, and then he brings in the balloons. And I'm like, oh, it's his baby. <laughs> and then I said something really rude to you. I really apologize. What did you say? I said something so rude. And when I said it, I'm like, why did you say that? I, I I, oh, it's no. like who am I? What was it? I go. Well, he goes. I go. The baby's not here. Uh-huh. And he goes. Hey, it is coming though. And I go. Well, what if it doesn't? Hey, Bobby. I know. As soon as I said that, I'm like, oh fuck, that's so bad. If you, if let's say I was pregnant and you said that shit to me. <laughs> oh, would, oh, oh my, my god. god! It would be like you'd get Jules to stab me with her knives. Well, no, it would be more than that. <laughs> yeah. And then he did a. He did something, what I call the white man's patience move. Oh, how do you, what's that? White W-M-P-M. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what he does is he wants to lash out, but what some white people do is they refrain from doing that and they co- they analyze, uh-huh. right? So I could see him just kind of, he kept quiet. He was analyzing, how do I respond to that? And, the, and his choice was no response, mm-hmm. right? And so then I went, Oh, dude, I don't know why I said that. I'm so sorry. It's a good move that you did. Because today we could have started a fight. Well, usually I try a little joke, which uh, then you just pounce on. <laughs> like, well, let me, okay, let's. Oh, do you let's, guys? Let's, refer, let's play that over again and let me see, hear the joke, Go okay? Ahead. So, <laughs> you, All right, Bobby. Okay, Bobby? Howdy, so, howdy, Bobby. Howdy, yeah. Bobby. Yeah. Howdy, Bobby. Oh, shit. Oh, you're. Oh, shit, the babe. Oh, yeah, that's why you're here. We're doing something. Yeah, um, it's a special episode for my baby. Yeah, yeah. So you got the balloons. Um, but the baby's not here. Oh, it's coming in like about a month or so. Yeah, but what if it doesn't? Um, He's a analyzing. lot of things. He's analyzing. Don't come. <laughs> but that's, uh, that's a slam. <laughs> that's his deep slam. The- a lot of things don't come. <laughs> wow, that burns. <laughs> you should fucking do roast battles, bro. I would love that. Him and Holy Anthony Jezelnack. <laughs> Man, you, you're you up there with uh, Jeff Ross, Attell. I mean, it's just like burning. A lot of things don't come. <laughs> oh, fuck. If you, there was a crowd here, mm-hmm. you would hear this. Oh! <laughs> you, you would hear that. And like things, just people stand, oh, in your face, Bobby. That's what you'd hear. You fucking, you know what? I, I would have said something along the lines of like, you know, at least I don't shoot blanks. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least I got a full load. See, I don't want to ever go that get that deep. Or, or oh, that's the only least, way yeah. to play with this man. Or, or at least I'm responsible enough to like you know do what's right and and have a baby with you know my the woman that I love. Unlike a guy, a 50 year old guy playing video games all day, who has no you know something like that. That would have been <laughs> like, oh fuck, I'm gonna kill this guy. Yeah, but you would have right, and then that would have been a good you know what I mean. And then no podcast. Hit the were, cat. <laughs> yeah, the no, I, and no podcast. Doesn't matter. Sometimes you gotta win, baby. <laughs> Sometimes in life you gotta win, George. And I'm trying to teach you that. So um, the baby's coming. Episode two ninety. Bobby's ex, Sarah Highland. Surprise. Coffee shop. But I also remember that was the first time I went horseback riding. Yes. With your family. Oh, I have a story about this. <laughs> yeah. So we went to Hawaii. <laughs> we were in Kauai. Okay. And I had never, I have like no horse experience whatsoever. I didn't grow up riding horses. Didn't grow up around them at all. But this guy goes, we should go horseback riding. He's like, I'm a horseman. Mm. He's like, I used to go. <laughs> he's like, I used to go with Sarah no. to her hometown in Louisville oh. and just ride horses all day horseman. for like months. Yeah. So he really made it out like he was some fucking months? cowboy, right? Sarah. <laughs> He couldn't even mount the horse. He couldn't even swing his tiny little legs over a short horse. And I and this horse nearly trampled him to death. Like it was the funniest thing. And then he the amount of times you nearly you almost got like bucked off because the horse just fucking hated you. Yeah. I was like, this guy's a fucking liar. You didn't go riding horses with Sarah. Yes, she did. probably rode horses. I rode the horses. I rode a horse. Was that your first you time, though? What story, though? <laughs> <laughs> what story? Uh, Go ahead. 
Okay. <laughs> what story? What story? <laughs> I went a horseback <laughs> riding with the family. <laughs> so aggressive. Uh, no, I didn't say he did ride horses. Thank okay. you. So I, he, I, you did, yeah. but you didn't tell. The, <laughs> What's the when whole, Bobby? But what? no, the whole story is when. <laughs> Go go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, good. Like, the, when we first went there, okay, so there, there's something about horses. If you don't know, so there's like mm. normal sized horses for, nor for oh. people. No, like, you know, like yeah. 15 hands. Yeah. That, like big yeah. horses. But there's also ponies called Shetland ponies. I know Shetland yeah, ponies. Yeah. So, uh huh, cute little. Baby. Where we went to ride, he did. Go, he did go to ride. He we did. He we went to Oldham County. Yeah. And you rode at Debbie's farm. At Debbie's farm. That's and right. so we went to go get the. <laughs> <laughs> did you ride a Shetland pony? He I don't went to the tell the story. <laughs> tell the story right. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> what happened? It's wedding. What is it? So no, so we went. We're walking towards the barn. <laughs> we're walking towards the barn. Yeah. <laughs> Debbie goes. Let me go get the horses for everybody. <laughs> 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 so it was me, my mom. <laughs> <laughs> So Debbie goes in, she brings out one horse, normal horse, yeah. two, two horse, yeah. normal horse, yeah. three horse. <laughs> it was this baby Shetland pony, <laughs> which Colette was that big, and it, it looked like a dog. <laughs> That's what it looked like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so small. That's yeah. what it looked like. Yeah, they used to do <laughs> tricks like that all the time. And they used, they used to laugh and laugh and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> they laughed. Oh, God, I remember that so now. that was your horse riding? <laughs> no, I didn't actually got on a you regular one after, <laughs> after that. So that was a joke. Debbie that brings out the, sh joke. the pony. <laughs> And then there's a 10 minute, 15 minute laugh. Killed it again. Right. And I'm like, it doing, I'm mugging. You know what I mean? Yeah. Surprise. <laughs> 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 right. And then I get on a regular horse. And then yeah. you oh actually got on a regular horse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then we. <laughs> what? And then we were. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweating. So uh, hard. Can you add a filter to this? <laughs> Sparkle. We'll put the beauty gold filter on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Black and white. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, we were riding. So, in Oldham County, so the surrounding counties of Kentucky are all like rural, woodsy. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So, we're riding through the woods. And every other tree from Bobby goes, is that where the hang is? <laughs> every other tree. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Remember that? I do every remember. other yeah. tree. Yeah. I remember also they wrote an article about us. They did. In the in the newspaper. My, my parents have it. And I hope this isn't, I mean, it's all like, it's been, girl, it's been years. But they still have that framed. It's down in our basement. We st I still have a picture of the both of you framed. Nah. Up on our wall. <laughs> yeah. And I know that sounds really weird, but I really have like, you know, when I first met Bobby, one of the things that I was so scared of finding out about him was that his exes were, I mean, not all, all women are wonderful. I'm just saying, like, it would have been a red flag for me if his ex wasn't you. Like, when he told me about you, when he says, This is Sarah, she's a comedian, she's funny, she's this, it, I was impressed. And that was one of the reasons why, um, I felt comfortable knowing that, okay, like he likes these brilliant women. Mm -hmm. Like that's, that's what his past looks like. If it had been some, you know, just hot chick with no substance, it would have been a red flag for me. Yeah. So like, I have absolutely no feelings about that, like at all. So yeah. I have to say, I like hearing these stories because it's like Intel for me. Yeah, It really is. I'm like, holy shit, tell me more. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you everything. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say yeah, though that, you know, in my, if I look back at my life, I, if I wrote a book and I had chapters mm -hmm. yeah. in terms of my relationships, there would probably be three real relationships I had. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I think Sarah was a real relationship. Yeah. I think Christine was a real relationship and you obviously, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but, um, yeah, I, you know, I've, I, ch I think I, you know, 
there needs to be something specific that I can. So if number one for a girlfriend, I have to introduce them to my parents. Yeah, my parents have to really like them. So you know, I um, that's number one. Number two, there's got to be you know, looks is one thing, right? But there's got to be something like a bunch of other things. You mm-hmm. know, what I mean that that triggers stuff within me but um you always tell me this one story about when you were with sarah in hawaii and like the angriest you've ever been is i don't know if you remember okay there's two two hawaiian stories with you okay remember that one time where i had food poisoning Mm. yeah there was i I (laughs) ate a hot dog at at the grand waialea hotel and then we're at the airport we missed the flight what and i had diarrhea for 24 hours and she i remember having her to carry me around (laughs) the airport Episode 291, George Lopez has a haunting. Because if there's a ghost, oh right, you know what I mean? I don't want the upper half. Wait a minute, I have my fucking house, is, there'll, be, there'll be some ghosts. My house is haunted. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. yeah. But you have so, a haunted house, George? Oh, yeah. I, I've had somebody come. That's another. Hey, so. No, no, no. Did you I, guys. No, make, yo, no don't, don't. You can't just I got brush off. Orbs you can't just brush, brush off haunted, haunted house. house, bro. <laughs> it's our favorite genre yeah, yeah. is haunted house. Wait, so I, right now, the house you're living in right now is haunted. I had somebody come and clean it. And oh. I'm going to show you. When I when I moved in, there was noise, and I thought that's an old house. And then I heard "ma," and I fucking shot up and I said, uh, "Somebody!" I said, "Someone's in here." Oh my I could go downstairs with a gun. Nobody's around. Then you hear noise on the other side of the the house for years, and you hear it, and you're like, "Okay," you kind of make peace with it. You know, you're like, "All right," that, you know. <laughs> and then people come over, and they're like. Hey man, I, I went into your kitchen to grab that stuff you asked me to grab, and when I I fucking could feel somebody behind me, he goes, I thought it was the driver, and when I looked back, there wasn't anybody there, so I fucking ran out of your house, or the or or somebody will say they came to do one of these like DoorDash kind of promos, yeah, and the lady was doing the sound, and she told the person that was with me, she says, tell George that I hear somebody talking. Oh, so if you nope. can ask them to be, oh, to be quiet. Oh, and it, there was, I said, there's nobody here. And the lady fucking saw somebody fucking walk by. And then it, I'm going to show you this picture. And then... Um, oh. I don't want to see that. I'm not ready. I'm I gotta, not ready. I gotta, I gotta see, I see. I'll show you a video, but I'm going to show you this picture. So whatever you do, don't... <laughs> what do don't... if. if it, 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 listen, if anybody has a fucking Ouija board, throw that motherfucker away today. Well, you did Ouija in that it's house? Black mat? No, no, no. But it's black magic. Ouija board. It's funny you could get one at fucking CVS. Target. Yeah. It's yeah, fucking yeah. black magic, yeah. man. Don't yeah, fuck yeah. with because you're calling people that are haven't gotten to where they belong. Yeah, I know. I've seen the movies, bro. <laughs> You know, remember when I like saw the Exorcist, bro? What the fuck, Exorcist says, "Hey, father, you have any change for a cat?" Yeah. They, they, if it, they will. If you're calling your father, a fucking demon will take his voice oh. and say, "It's it, you know, it's me," yeah, yeah. but it's a fucking demon. So careful who you call, <laughs> because yeah, those motherfuckers will. Stuff. I don't fuck around either. George, they'll they'll come and they won't go away. George, I have one question for you. You are a um, relatively wealthy man. Why the fuck, fuck are you move. still there? Fucking move. Yeah, I know. You know, no. What, what, you know, <laughs> fucking, fucking move. Okay, let me tell you this story. Let me tell you this story. <laughs> so you know, I always wanted to live in Los Feliz. Right, yeah. uh, so I fell out of escrow on a house that was up there, and then you know we're driving. This guy's driving; it's like two hours on fucking you know because I'm working in Santa Monica. And I looked on Truly, and there's a house, perfect fucking Los Feliz, like a perfect house. Like mm-hmm. you go, oh my god! Call this lady. I said, hey, bro, can you get me in there? She, she calls. She goes, tomorrow we're in there at one o'clock. I said, well, there's nothing earlier. No, no. She goes, George, they have it like every 15 minutes with a 15 minute break. Like everybody wants this house. So I said, oh, fuck, then why even go? She goes, hey, you just go look. So I go in there, beautiful pool thing that's in there. Then you go upstairs, come down. The guy goes, what do you think? And I said, dog, it's great. And he goes, you want it? And I said, what do you mean? Do I want it? Like, what about all these fuck? He goes, hey, I'll call the guys that own it. Call the owner. He's a doctor. He goes, he's a huge fan of yours. So I said, hey, guess who's in your house? And he said, oh, fucking George. He goes, hey, tell him if he gives me the full price, he can have it. And there's like 50 fucking offers. Wow. So I, I I paid the full price and I got it. And then, you know, you do some work to it. And in the fireplace, so my name is George because of I was born on April 23rd. And at the general hospital over there, my mom wanted to name me Anastasio, who they thought my father was. And my grandmother's like, fuck him. <laughs> You're not naming that motherfucker somebody that disappeared. 
So my grandmother goes, what's today? Tells the nurse, what's today? April 20, what's a day? It's St. George Day. Mm. So she goes, George, Edward, St. George. And I told the dude that I, uh, the contractor, I said, hey man, can you fucking clean those fireplaces out? Because they look like they haven't been cleaned in forever. And when he calls me back, he goes, hey, when you get home, look in the fireplace because there's a conquistador tile in there. And it's a tile of St. George. Whoa. From the 1920s. So you almost feel like it's, I mean, you know, it's, it's not St. Christopher. It's not, you know, the being in Guadalupe. It's a fucking St. George tile from the 20s. So I made the mistake of calling people, especially one who had just recently passed. And that's when a lot of the activity came, a lot of the banging and a lot of the orbs yeah. and a lot of the bullshit. But then it was in the hallway. I'll show you a fucking video. There's a fucking person in the reflection of a picture <laughs> that's okay. moving oh, in I'm the fucking, thing. Oh my God. But I took a I took a picture, like I felt, here's, a, you can see kind of a shadow. And I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show it to you, okay. but you can see the shadow. Okay. So when I'm in bed now, all of a sudden, all of a sudden there's more things happening. More, you know, like you just, you're like, fucking God, God, I feel like fucking somebody's over there. So now it started to happen on the right side of, of the, where the bathroom's over there. And I would go like this. And I'm like, so I took a video of that right side of my bedroom. And I didn't see any orbs or anything. But in the picture, not a mirror, in the picture I see this square. And I go, what the fuck is that? And then I, I pull it open. And it's a fucking green face. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's a green face. A green face. And I said, I said, fuck this. I said, I, I hired this lady to come and fucking take him out, and she did. How was Wait, she? Um, what did you say? Take out the green guy? She, she no, no. They know. They know. Fucking yeah. Ghost. Yeah. Wait, no, it, hey, the green guy's gone. The fucking dude hanging out of the, in the, in the, <laughs> the, the, the mist is gone. Yeah, yeah. There was some crazy. I have questions. Yeah. Now, did we did we do the cleansing in the hippie way or the Catholic way? Um, I think no. I think they did it the hippie way. For the, with the sage, because that yeah. shit don't work. <laughs> You well, gotta fuck it. Wait, 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 I'm wait, sure wait, they're on their way babe, back. Babe, babe. But no, no. Babe. Listen, I know they're on their way back. But but. <laughs> <laughs> babe, babe. But when you see no. that, you're you're like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, you gotta George, try. The only reason I'm something. telling you this is because when I was younger, my dad's boat had to be exercised. Like they had my my dad was agnostic. He didn't believe in shit. But it turns out like they had like a haunted steering wheel in his ship. Yeah. So they it was a family of five living there, and the priest had to exercise it. And the next day, the priest died. Okay. Wait, the, the actual, then, the, wait, wait, is this on the peacock? <laughs> <laughs> and, no. then, and then when my, my dad like went through a depression, he grew his beard out and he slept on the couch for like six months and he wouldn't speak to us for six months. What I'm saying is this shit is real. No, I know. I believe in this shit and it freaks me out and I want to make sure that not some like young hippie sh um, bitch no, just with some sage. I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah. But they're, for right now, they're gone. But, but also... Fucking move, bro. But also, but also, when you have things of other people... Like I have things that belong to people who were, were famous. Part of their fucking spirit and their energy is with those things. Even things that are just collected from people. They're, oh. they're, they, you know, you see your, a, a robe and you're like, man, that fucking robe is my dad. Like I just, he wants to wear this robe. And you have the robe, you have part of his energy and his, his self in there. Oh. You know, you leave things. That's why, you know, when someone dies and you, you, you know, Everybody's sad, and then they go, look what he left, and you look at something that belonged to him, and you fucking just, you're destroyed mm -hmm. because that's them. Their essence is Their them. essence, that's them. That's what they like. That's what they did. Do you feel as though these people or these entities living there, were they of the um, um, friendly variety? You know, in the beginning, but then in the last six months, I called somebody, the spirit, and they fucking showed up, I'm telling you. And and since that time, it's been it's been more like I'm like, what the fuck was that? And then that that shit, mm. and the fucking orbs and the name words and the fucking mist in the hallway and in the middle of the night, you're just like, this is fucking insane. 
and I just I just had enough. Like you know, in the video, I saw something that I that I didn't see before, and when I saw that, I said, "This is this this is fucking way past anybody's fucking tolerance level." Like there's a there's a person in the reflection of this picture that's wearing white that's mo- that's moving, and I'm like that. That fuck it, man. That's it. And I didn't want. It could have been your girlfriend or something. No, I'm puto. No, the uh, (laughs) the the, no no. It's a fucking thing. And the thing is not a mirror. It's a picture. It's a picture. Like this is not this is not a mirror. It's a picture. So that fucking face leaning in like this. Yeah, yeah. That's you know they go. Hey, George, that's not a face, motherfucker. That's a fuck. No, anybody that sees that's gonna be like that's a fucking face. Yeah, I saw a face. So now you go okay, but for for whatever anybody believes. In that house, it's from the twenties and shit, like you know. So yeah, she yeah, came, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it feels it, it feels different. It feels different. Mm. Unsettled. But but of course, I'm sure it's going to be a process. But yeah, all that all of that shit that that you know it's. Mm. And I live alone. It's a big fucking house, <laughs> and you yeah. hear these fucking noises, man. You're just like it's. And I, you know, I when this, it's funny because as a kid, I was afraid of everything, afraid of the dark and all that bullshit. But you think as an adult, I'm almost 60, like all that's gone away. Everything that, it, and also for that kid that, the, like when you start to believe in yourself and believe your your worth and believe that that regardless of, you know, somebody, you know, hey, listen, Bukaki videos, you know, they, <laughs> and then you go take a shower, you're brand new again. It's like, you don't have to walk around with fucking dry fucking crema all over you, you know? If you ever, if you ever get to that, that's going to be a beautiful quote, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you, when you get to, as long as you have a fucking life, you have a chance to fucking change everything. Right. Even the you know, fifty loads, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you do have a. Ch- so as long as like you know, kids that are depressed and all this, stuff, there, there, there's, there's opportunity to be better when you're alive. Even mm-hmm. if it's over. But you know, uh, um, and so all the shit that I had as a kid is gone. Like all the things that scared me, all all the insecurities that I had. Yeah, are are gone. Wishing people like a B- Buddhist, you know, tra- practice Buddhism, and that came from like just seeing the signs, man. Of like, there was a Buddhist temple in San Fernando, and my grandmother would see him, and it's the same time like Harry Christian's Buddhist, you know, they, they don't want anything. My grandmother would go, she goes, I'll beat you, fucking good, son of a bitch. Harry Christian. I said, grandmother, they're, they're Buddhist. If I took that, get that shit. <laughs> they want my. I said they don't want anything. The Buddhists don't want anything. She's like, if I, everybody wants something. And you just hear that fucking voice every day. Mm. And then I moved to Sherman Oaks. It was a Buddhist temple on the corner. Mm. I, had a, I, have a, I bought a place in Hawaii. It's a fucking top of the hill. We get there to go get something to eat. Fucking Buddhist temple there. So in at the dark time of like the divorce and all that shit that you still have to go work and you, you go home and you're alone. Fucking brutal, man. Taking some fucking Vicodins and a fucking Four Locos. Listen, you don't need fucking Vicodin when you're drinking a Four Local. Those motherfuckers, thank God they don't make them. Let's go find them. Yeah, yeah. Some people, used to, they gave me some Cezerp for Christmas. Like, if you want to kill, if you want to kill yourself, there's way. But you know what? I didn't want to fucking go out like that. Like I, you know. And then I started to look at the principles of like not wishing anybody harm, and you know, of of, of trying to just be better and avoid, you know. And it just, and I, I went and met the Dalai Lama in Boston. I fucking went over there and it, wow. it, it shook my hand and we talked and spoke at his 80th birthday party like five years ago and stayed connected. And it's changed, it's changed everything about me, man. Like I, I don't trip off anything. Wow. And I'm happy to be alive. And even all that bullshit that's, that would, that would be like, uh, uh, that one, yeah, there's a fucking Mexican standing in the middle of the street. I don't know, he's yelling something like George Lopez. I like, I can handle that shit. <laughs> right, yeah. Because I've. I've already seen fucking different variations of my life. That's why you can handle ghosts. That's yeah, why and you I understand them. Like I don't, yeah. but I won't. But I won't fucking call them anymore. Like don't call them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they'll come. Episode three hundred one, Joshua Tree Special Part Two. We meet the parents. Is it weird? I mentioned this to Bobby earlier that George used to live in that trailer back in L.A. Which the silver one? The silver yeah. one. Yeah, <laughs> and he fucked two and a half women in there. Two and a half <laughs> yep. women. So what was one of them a little person? No, no, it just wasn't. Wait, two and a half in one night? No, no, no. no it just throughout, overall. Throughout like I'm, 12 years. So uh, that, that t- trailer has an interesting story. My ba- dad bought a uh, well, steam let's engine. Hear it. <laughs> 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 you know how to make any story sound boring, you jerk. <laughs> 
<laughs> just skip ahead five. No, minutes because if you say uh, it's an interesting story, it better be interesting. It is. Look at the trailer. I know, but I want to see what comes out of his mouth now. The provenance of that trailer. Mm-hmm. I love that word. Provenance. My father Great word. is big into steam engines. He was president of the Steam Automobile Club of America, uh-huh. wow. and so he just travels the nation looking for steam engines that people have. So he found that one that like that was the trailer for the steam engine. But uh-huh. the problem is he put that trailer on top of another trailer, and it was all too heavy, so the tires were going to pop on the way back to Michigan. So he said, just leave that trailer in the front yard. So then, that was like a month or two before Bryce moved out to be my assistant at Maker. And we were like, that's a perfect. We're going to make Bryce live in the front yard. And, uh, you know, we'll establish the pecking order of everything. We're fine. Just uh, every month, keep uh, keep beers in the fridge. So then... You should be a storyteller on calm. <laughs> I'm about to fall asleep. <laughs> I'm still intrigued. I think there's, I'm a, intrigued. there's a third right, act. There's a third act. So then we went and did one uh, one trip for like New Year's, and Bryce just unloaded all of his stuff into my room, and I was so mad. Uh-huh. I was like, Bryce, you motherfucker. If you're going to make my room dirty, I'm moving to the trailer, and you have to stay here and pay rent. Oh, I see. And then flag, I saw- Flag little- this. Flag this. <laughs> No, we're not flagging this. Don't be rude. And I, I saw a little that. smirk on Bryce's face, like he, that was exactly what he wanted. Yeah. Uh, so I lived in the trailer for what, like six months, while I was a senior producer at Maker Studios. It looks really cozy. I mean, I don't. What's is there that? a bed in there? Is there a bullet yeah. hole through it? There is a hole in it. Um, I don't think those are bullet holes. Those are just rivets that fell out. And what for? Oh, got and what it. Doug it's got a nice little sunroof. It's beautiful. And I, I du- like it. And what Doug Bryce told didn't me. even have like electricity in it. I got electricity in it. I did everything. Can I, I buy I it off it of you so that that could be Jules's house for <laughs> yeah. when she's in college? And Doug said that uh, uh, that was parked underneath the grapefruit tree. So like, if you had girls over, you just hear giant. <laughs> <laughs> Is there an interesting story about your Ellen John glasses? Uh, yeah, you okay. copped my style when you went to uh, bought Gucci's in uh, <laughs> in Hawaii. <laughs> I you, copped your style? He said he did the lenses first with color. <laughs> then in Hawaii, you're inspired. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> I would go more H- Mitch Hedberg, but, you know, you can call it what you want. Oh, it is very Mitch Hedberg. It's got a Hedberg, yeah. Yeah. Episode 325, John Cho, The Star Trek Future. Dude, you don't even know how many times I saw those Star Trek movies. When you were fucking in the... Remember, you guys... Remember... No, 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 remember... Uh, I was you, you guys were both shooting down you and uh, Kirk... Yeah. Shooting down the thing, sh- right? And they were drilling, right? The red stuff, the oh, matter, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you <laughs> you put your parachute, psh, right? And then you, you landed on it. I remember he was slipping, ah, right? And you had your sword, and then they came out of the little little th- compartment. And you fought him like this. Can I, I, w- I want you to do another, an entirely new podcast <laughs> yeah. where you just describe movies. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I should. It would be a hit. It was, it's like right. audio books. It, yeah. You know what I mean, but you're just here's another side of Star Trek. When you were um, you were you were told to lead. You were you were you were the captain, right? Remember? Yeah. And then yeah, you had yeah. to do that one speech. Yeah. yeah. Remember? I remember that too. Here's another thing in the third movie, right? <laughs> just telling him his scene. Uh, no, I'm just tell you. But you were so athletic. Oh, it was basically the whole thing. Oh, right? oh, oh, oh. I'm going to just show you more how athletic it is, right? And in the third movie, I remember remember you were captured on that uh, in that mm-hmm. yeah on that planet, right? Yeah, and then they, yeah. that lady had that thing in her head. Remember, she had the, the thing that opens up. And oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, were yeah. there, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And here's what I also liked about the movie. They made, <laughs> because of um, Sulu, they, they made your character gay. gay. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh, you know what I remember? Um, uh, I just remember uh, there, 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 were, um, there were discussions about Sulu's husband. And um, I, I, I said... Because uh, cause it could have been a different species, could have been a Klingon or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, I, I would like an Asian man. Uh, and there was a little bit of difficulty because we were shooting that scene in Dubai. Oh. And there were cultural problems with cast, getting an East Asian man and one that would be willing to be depicted as gay. Wow. So we ended up using our, one of our screenwriters for that role. Oh. Mm. But um but I requested an Asian man because I was like if we're going to go gay and this is just my own trip. I was like I wanted to be super uh, like heteronormative in the future. Like this is mm. so there's no like a weirdness about 
Because I did know, like, being older, I've known a lot of gay Asian dudes who don't want to touch Asian dudes. Oh. You know? Wow. And so I was like, I, I want that in the future. There, There's no hang-ups. Mm. This dude's thinking about the fucking future over here. What's Bro. <laughs> Bro, what if you got a call to, to be his husband? And- but I, I'm, I, well, so when, when I saw that, I've seen that movie a thousand times. But when I saw that part, every time I see that part, I go, imagine. <laughs> imagine, because Pike, what's his name? Chris Pike? Chris, Chris Pine. Pine. Chris Pine. Pine. <laughs> Christopher Pine? It's Captain Pike. Pike. Captain Pike. Captain Pike oh, yeah, is in but the movie is another character. Kirk. What's, what's his name? Christopher. Chris Pine. Christopher Plummer. He's a major love movie him. star. He's a huge star. <laughs> I love him. I love him, right? But there was a moment where he gets off the ship. He sees you guys, and you guys walk off with your daughter, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Imagine if, just for a split second, if it was me. <laughs> and now mm. the audience, mm. dude, the audience, mm. imagine the audience. Mm. They would go fucking Crazy. The audience. Freeze. Don't you think, yeah. don't you think the audience Freeze. would have gone crazy? It would have ruined the movie. <laughs> <laughs> it would have ruined the movie, but it would have been amazing. It would have been a great yeah, piece, yeah, yeah. Of, piece of casting. But, dude, I'm telling you right now. I, I <laughs> Honestly, I love... I'm a big Star Trek fan, bro, and I love those movies. You know? Oh, thanks, dude. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to stop fanboying, dude. Yeah. It's, it's, so it's how'd weird, you get right? into Star Trek? Um, how'd you get into Star Trek? <laughs> why? Why did you do that? <laughs> I don't know why, because I wanted to put you down a little bit. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little bit. You know what I mean? I'll tell you how, dude. Uh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I'll tell you how, dude. Fuck, dude. Jesus. <laughs> Can I tell you how, dude? <laughs> All right. Because I don't think that I loved living my life. I love my life, but it's like, the society I live in, I don't particularly like. You know what I mean? It's free. I have the freedom. I love being an American. But because of all the stuff that we've talked about, right? Yeah. I think as a kid, I've always wanted to see a different future. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. And Star Trek always provided a future for me that I could live with. Like, for instance, multicultural, right? Yeah. There's no... there's no. You're talking about the original series, right? No, I'm talking about Next Generation. Next actually. Generation, okay. I'm a big Next Generation. I like the original as mm-hmm. well. But um, the Next Generation, it's all about just growing and helping each other. I don't know. I just glommed onto that idea, right? Yeah. That we could all just kind of move beyond this Trump shit, all the shit that we had to... It's yeah. backwards. I, I, that's, that's, I have the same feeling about Star Trek. And it is like, it was born in the 60s. And it was this vision of post-war America. Of like, mm-hmm. we could be the city on the hill. We could be a great nation, you know, and we're going to be diverse. And obviously, there, it, uh, it's of its era. So there's a white man at the helm. But like, it was this really inclusive uh, idea of what America could be because it, it's 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 set in space, but it's about America and what we the, what we could be if we really stuck to our ideals, li- or rather, lived up to our stated ideals. Yeah, you know, it's so also important to see people like Sulu and Uhura. Did I saying yeah. that right? Uhura, Uhura, Uhura. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like, it's like a Korean word. <laughs> I just try my best, guys. All right, so. To see an Asian, you know, I think Chekhov is a, what's Chekhov? Mexican? What is he? Uh, Russian. <laughs> Jek- Chekhov seems Mexican. Yeah, hola. Is he, Ru- <laughs> is he Russian? Russian, yeah. yeah. I think so. Yeah. It's just all that stuff. <laughs> what's, so fu- what's so funny? <laughs> that you got Chekhov. The original confused. Chekhov looks Mexican. Like if he. What? Doesn't, no, I mean, if you, honestly, dude, if you went to, I don't want to be stereotypical, but Keto Moss. <laughs> I don't know. Not- I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's just move on, dude. I, yeah, think, I think I dug myself a hole, dude. Yeah. I think I dug myself a Keep it in, but you know what I mean? <laughs> Chekhov's not Mexican. Let's move on. <laughs> don't have to look it up. I don't know what you're doing. Episode 294. Did you just fart? No. What was that? <laughs> Ooh, they're making me angry today, huh? All right. Do you want to go to uh, Unhelpful Advice? No, I don't, actually. Oh, okay. Let's um, sit in this atmosphere. Fucking <laughs> foot shavings. Are you still angry that I called you Uncle Tom? It's also not Uncle Tom, I don't think, in the Asian community. Yeah. Um, What's it called? It's Uncle Chan. <laughs> I think it's Uncle Chan. What's the? F- yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But I, I, um, no, I don't think that I am. You know, I, I, I don't, I don't follow Asians blindly just because they're Asian. You know, I think that like there's like, you know, um, Korean Zombie. I always root for. You know, there's like that. Um, you're from Manchester United Park, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Jisoon Park. Mm-hmm. Jisoon Park? 
I th- yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I I loved him. You know what I mean? I followed him. I love Korean movies. What about the guy from Tottenham? I love him as He's well. So good. I love yeah. him. And, yeah, I love him as well. And when he scores against Arsenal, I it, that's the one thing that I don't, Wait, I don't, I don't get bummed about that. I have to ask you a question about Arsenal. What is this thing about a super European league? That we're I in see? Europa and we're in the semifinals. No, there's something else. They started this like super European league thing that Arsenal is a part of. I think it was just news today. It was weird. I don't know. Anyways, but so it's like, is am I? Uh, you know. You know, there's certain Asian stand-ups that I don't like, and there's some Asians ones I love and I, f- I identify with. You know, someone like David Cho, I know that you know we have you know we have certain issues with him. You know what I mean? All positive ones. Um, <laughs> I um, I look at David, and when I see David, and that every in the first time I ever saw him, um, I say I I've, I said to myself, it's almost as if we're cut from the same cloth. You know? Is there a part of you that like resents some part of the Asian community because they've told you that you cannot be this sort of like who you are? No, because, you know, I had Asians say that to me, you know, and I go, you know, I, I can only be me. I can only do the kind of comedy that I do. I remember trying to do observational humor. Mm-hmm. Like Sebastian was doing it. I was like, maybe I'll try. Can you try? Can yeah. I Can I hear some? What would be an observational? I just look here? around the room. Oh, man. No, we can't be around here, but it's like, you know. Um, maybe Andres. Uh, I mean, it's like flying. It's like, you know, <laughs> fly, fly, yeah. flying is crazy. It's like, you know. I was at the yeah. I was in the emergency ex- exit row, right? And the flight attendant goes uh, to me, you know. Are you, uh, can you, in, in, in case of emergency, can you help? You know, and, I, and I go, yeah, right? And then when she walked away, I was like, fuck no. I don't know why. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it, man. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, you know, um, you know, when there's turbulence on the plane. <laughs> when there's love- turbulence on the plane, right? More plane. You know what I mean? I, you know, I, I unbuckled myself. I was going to go to the bathroom. And, and she's like, um, flight attendant's like, you know, excuse me, sir, you got to sit down. I go, you're standing. I, mean, I bet you we were, if we were on the log in the lake, right, and we we're trying to balance, I'd be able to balance better than you. <laughs> Flat attendant, don't tell me what to do. You know what I mean? I mean, if she can do it, I can. You know, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do observational humor. That's pretty I good. That's pretty good. Yeah. I'm just making it up on the spot. But uh, oh, that's funny. What else is more observation? You know, I like the plane theme. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know you had so much plane stuff. No, it's like please, that's the common, mo- like all hacky road comedy. It's either planes, relationships. Driving, that's the all mm. you know, that everyone can relate to. Mm. I just don't know how to do it. Episode 327. Tony Hawk, Jason Ellis. You're going to love these guys. What? I got a skateboard in the car. We no, can no. get you there. We can get you there. There is no way. You could Ollie right now. I can knees- definitely get you to Ollie. Yeah. You can teach me how to Ollie. In five yes. minutes. Yes. There's no way you can. I, I do Guaranteed. Uh, but Guaranteed I video of you doing an Ollie, the board's in the air, and you land we it back on get, the board. Yeah. Okay. Guaranteed. I just, I just Need some other footwear there. Let me show you, okay? All right. Yeah. Okay, show us. Let me see if my technique. Let me put my phone away. Sorry, this is perfect. <laughs> oh my maybe god! One, maybe we need it. I, it doesn't right, work so without right. a skateboard. Okay, but let's see how bad it is. That's not bad. Okay, it's not it's bad. But slow. You're just you're slow. See, you're, you, you got to get a pop. Yeah, right. there's there's a there's a snap. That yes. closer. That's it. Yeah. Wait. And he looked at us while he was doing it. Yeah. Ooh, That's how contact. easy he could do it. Eye contact. Okay, you have no under. That hurts so fucking bad. On where? <laughs> there's everywhere. My ankles, two <laughs> knee joints. I'm fucked. There's no way I'm gonna learn. Oh. And I'm old. I'm fifty now. I'm 50. We just got your timing better in three attempts. <laughs> right, you're right. I did learn. Right? I did grow a yeah. little bit. You're no longer a poser, sweetie. Congratulations. Uh, no, you know what? <laughs> she you th- called me out. Hold on. Leave it out there. Leave it out there. Uh-huh. You called me out, right? But since I love you, <laughs> since and I since I love you, and since we're lovers, <laughs> put it here. Put it here. <laughs> <laughs> so romantic. Yeah, but I never, I've never reconciled with my wife like that. Yeah, right? <laughs> I put her here. I'm not going to Well, try I love I you, and we were lovers, and no, put her here. <laughs> okay, you, pal. Yeah, no. you, you probably also never, I'll see you tonight. You probably also never lied to her about being a good skater. <laughs> Wait, you said you were good? Yes, when we first met. He had, How he had, good did he you had say you were? skateboards all over his home. Oh! Oh, you were like claiming. <laughs> yes! And you bro, can't bro, do bro, an bro, ollie? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Put it here. Bro, bro, you bro, bro, started back up, back up, back up. Bobby, you started this. I understand you that. But, can I just say, but does this count? Wow. <laughs> I know personally probably a hundred st- like pro skaters. Mm-hmm. 
Just listen. listen yeah. Here, Mike. Let me just defend myself. All right. Uh, Here's the including argument. news, as I can tell. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And I, um, I also have. I grew up in San Diego, so I grew up in the environment of it, right? <laughs> <laughs> and um, so I understand the culture. I understand the sport. Like I understand the history of it. You're obsessed with it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm obsessed. With, you know, I'm obsessed with you it. You are. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm obsessed with it. His so brother is also a great skater. My brother can ollie and uh. kick flip, heel flip. He can do a pop shove it, all that kind of stuff. But um. Yeah, I don't know how. But anyway, let's move on, okay? I don't want to talk about it anymore, and I, I am a fucking poser. You know what? I'm not... You know what? Fuck it. I'm a poser. I'm a loser, and I'm a poser. Can you roll on one? Excuse me? Can you roll down the road on a skateboard? <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to... I'm trying to lead you into a good thing here. If you can, okay, then fuck, you can skate. Hey, hey fuck hard. <laughs> What? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I never had anybody... Yeah, fuck hard. L- that, listen. That small say that. <laughs> It doesn't feel good, does it? It doesn't feel good, does it? good. You're coming across crazy as fuck right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like, you're right. You're right. I've never had anyone say that they couldn't real? back it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. I can't back up. My bad. Oh, man. I was too aggressive, but can I just say that? <laughs> Let's calm down. Let's, Let's get not back to forget he also fights MMA. I get it. Let's just go back to, you know, let's go back a little bit. And I want to say the reason why I called you that was because. I felt like earlier I was trying to um, make you feel better about your life and whatnot. Yeah. No. I said, also, oh, <laughs> about, no, just listen to what I'm saying. Unnecessarily. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. And I was, I, unnecessarily, yeah. granted. Yeah. Right? Okay. And I was just, remember all this stuff, like, you're there with the other Canadians, so you belong. I was trying to do all that. Yeah. And then you did that. And then you showed your vulnerability. That's right. And he didn't back And he up. did not back yes. me up on. Thank you right. so much, Tony. What I the understand. Fuck? He was- <laughs> I understand what he's saying. I don't think it deserved fucked hard. <laughs> But I understand. Okay. I think fuck card was too hard. I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and I apologize. Twice. I yeah. did it twice. I apologize. Yeah. yeah. All right. Can we forget that? That yeah. incident ever happened? Yeah. Yeah. All right. And can we move on? Yeah. Thank you. Episode 299, Joshua Tree Special Part 1, The Closing Statement. She, did, she I love it when she does the kid voice when I wake up. She, oh, my little... She goes, oh, my little fat daddy, you know? <laughs> my little fat daddy with the pudgy Delilah? legs. Delilah? Yeah. What? With the pudgy legs is up now. Oh, he's so cute. Let me take a photo or whatever. <laughs> what? And I do this groggy little walk to, to the dog or whatever I might do. She goes, Sh- can I make you some coffee or whatever? I go, I know I got it. Uh-huh. I, right? I said, I got it. Did I not just say that? Yeah, you did. So I made it up myself, right? Then she goes, you want me to cook you up something? And I go, you know what? D- don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, I said. And she goes, no, let me cook you something. So I go, all right. No, um, because I said, are you hungry? He goes, I'm starving. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I said, yeah, but then I said, don't worry about it. Yeah. So then she goes, um, I can either make you um, some rice, eggs, and bacon, or I can make you um, a bagel, r- r- um, bacon, and eggs. Hmm. So I go, I'll take the bagel, bacon, and eggs. Now, listen, now, here's where the bagel thing came across. Okay, here's the diversion. Here's the diversion, okay? Is for three or four months, we've had one, the same, we always order <laughs> oh, the same bagel. This is a deep, this is Yeah, so we ordered, we always order the same bagel, right? It's a from Thomas the store. bagel. It's a Thomas everything bagel. Everything. Bagel. It's a, I think it's the best, you know what I mean, store-bought bagel you can get. Thomas bagel. All right? So there we go. There's a plug. Mm-hmm. And so in our house, right, I have this thing was, I, I, I remember I told you where when I was six years old, um, my aunt, if you didn't finish the cereal, right, with the milk in it and everything, she'd put the soggy milk and the cereal back into the box, <laughs> and then you would have, the next day you would have to eat that, right? Mm-hmm. Good. So I have this weird, you know what I mean, thing, and sometimes you know weird their thing. family reminds me of that. Wait, a non-wasteful people. It's disgusting. No, we don't do that. I know, but it reminds me of it. Let me just finish my, my fucking testimony. I don't throw meat. I know. Like let it. me just throw my testimony. I'm going to finish my testimony. Okay, you're continue, right, you're continue. Right. All right. Uh, don't argue back. Okay, you're right. All right. <laughs> I'll say my piece after. Thank you. Okay. D- does she get a rebuttal even? She said her testimony. She gets a rebuttal. I didn't you- even know I was testifying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was a testimony. testimony. Yeah, yeah. Would you like a rebuttal after her rebuttal? Yes, thank you. Okay, fine. All right. Even rebuttals. All right, so. Every, okay, let's do it. I do my testimony. She gets a rebuttal. I get a rebuttal. rebuttal. And that's it. That's it. All right. <laughs> you and then you be the judge. <laughs> okay. You get closing statements. Then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's our closing statement. Okay. So in my head, I'm like, those bagels have been in the fucking that refrigerator for like five months. Okay. Right. So all I, I and they look like the same amount because I remember counting it. 
right? It was like six, right? Uh-huh. Right. So and I looked at the fridge. I got that's the same bagel, and so I'm like, I don't want to eat that bagel. You know, it's old, and it's because of, I have this weird thing. You know, so I just basically go, um, what bagels are those? <laughs> right? And she goes, she goes, brand new. I just bought them yesterday or whatever. Right? With her snappy snaps. Oh, I so I go, all right, fine, I'll eat it. That's all I needed to hear. I was being kind. Oh, that was it? I was just asking, you know what I mean? So I just needed some information. Okay? Could you address her jaw, the jaw clinch you did? Was there a jaw clinch? There was no jaw clinch. Okay. You know what I mean? There was actually a smirk. But it wasn't like, you know what I mean? Uh, a kind? It wasn't a facetious smirk. Okay. You know what I mean? It was a smirk of joy. There we go. Okay? So it was just like, I love you. <laughs> 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 you know, with this up here... I love, love you so m- I love, I love you. you so much. Oh, right. And then so she can't get it to work. Can't get what to work. The stove to work. Uh huh. No. Right? Am I not right? Correct. I gotta call Gilbert. That's what you said. No, I said um, I'm gonna wait for Gilbert. I'm gonna wait for Gilbert. Mm. Okay, good. Let's just get the facts out there. And what did I say? I'm fine. Mm-hmm. I didn't go. Oh, make it stink of it. Yeah. Right. So then. Juliana, with her fucking slothy attitude, Moses sloths into the fucking room, <laughs> right? And, and you go, and you ask Julia if she can help. Juliana goes to the stove, and she lights it. It c- comes on, and you proceed to cook, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like bacon and eggs, which was uh, very appreciative. I see you put toast, the, and then I'm watching Antique Roadshow on my YouTube and my videos, and then when it was done, it was beautifully set on a fucking plate. With the two bagels, perfectly toasted, by the way, right? Great A. Egg, eggs, exactly the way. I stack the eggs on top of the bagel. Nice. I put the bacon on top of the bagel. I want to make a sandwich. I'm a breakfast sandwich guy, mm. right? And so all we have is water. And there's no orange juice, right? Which is fine. Which is fine, right? I'm not just saying, I'm just... And I, the, that, the night before, I had coconut... Um, there's coconut water. Water. I had it last night. Co- and I, in my head, I'm like... You know, I just don't have, I want something kind of like, uh, I want a Diet Coke, right? And all I asked was, did you happen to, did we get Diet Coke? Now, why can't I ask that? Was there a jaw clinch then? No, you know what there was? What, what, what was there? What was there? I love you. <laughs> With the, the eyes yeah, and everything? With the smirk. The smirk. <laughs> I love you so much. I said it like that. A lot more smirks than jaw clinches. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. I said, with my smirk, as I go. Is there any Diet Coke? <laughs> flirtatious. She goes, oh, immediately she attacks me. She Dare goes, I say flirtatious? She goes, well, I had Diet Coke at the house, but you didn't bring it in the car to bring it over here. Like some sort of like, you know what I mean, hostile, you know what I mean, re- uh, uh, you know what I mean, thing. And uh-huh. I'm like, whoa. But still. Wow. Wow, I love you still. Almost flirting. Right, right. Point. Almost like very flirty, right? Mm-hmm. So then. Um, oh, there's more? <laughs> there's, it's not done. Oh, not done. Not done. <laughs> Go get your So then I'm like, I'll get, you know what? I'll get some water. I got some water, right? And I have the sandwich built. And I go, and I just, you know, in my mind, I'm like, don't even ask this question. Because if you ask it, it's going to be a big to-do, right? And it's going to sound like you're complaining, right? But also, you know, I like my breakfast sandwiches with a little bit of spice. (laughs) Excuse, hey, fucking excuse me, all right? I apologize, that I like spices, you know what I mean, in my foods. So I go, there, and I said, I quote, where there happened to be, where there, with the smirk, where there happened to be, <laughs> the right, right, smirk, yeah. some, so, some form of hot sauce around here, <laughs> maybe <laughs> via salsa or Tabasco mm-hmm. or whatever, right? Aardvark. Mm-hmm. And she proceeds to open the drawers to look for it. And all I said was, Usually, if the house has it, my dear, right? It's usually in the cabinet, you know what I mean? And then she made some sort of remark like, no, sometimes in these houses, sometimes in these houses, they have it in the drawers or whatever, whatever, <laughs> right? So I go... You got a rebuttal. Don't worry. You got your rebuttal. Don't worry. Mm-hmm. I'm just taking notes. <laughs> Please right? take notes, yes. So then I go... So then I go... Tomo nota. <laughs> I said, don't worry about it, sweetie. Wow, don't Smirk, worry. Smirk, right? <laughs> Ate the sandwich. Delicious. Right? Did I not say it was delicious? Yes. Right? Mm. I drank the water. It quenched my thirst, I'll tell you that right now. And water always does a job. Okay? <laughs> it always does a job. And then after I was done, I um, 
was very sad. Oh, and in fact, you know, there was one thing I have to apologize about. What? And the one thing maybe I I did uh, I fucked up a little mm. bit. I I still had a little bit of bagel. You know what I mean? Like maybe a bite size on the plate, which I was savoring. Sometimes when the ki- he's uh, a slow eater. Yeah, I'm a slow eater, and sometimes a slub king, right? Likes to savor moments, <laughs> and that you know that's anyone listening to right now, me right now, right? It's always great to savor moments. I hadn't had breakfast yet. She hadn't had breakfast yet. Oh wow! So she, without asking, it's just fine. It's not rude, right? But she grabs that last. I, I didn't. Oh. Just let oh, me my have my god. oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my let god! Oh my god! You're a fucking liar. <laughs> well, we'll get to you, Queen. But no, we'll get first to you. of all, can that be reprimanded? <gasps> oh, her my interruption god. can that be reprimanded? I will say this you because will, I didn't. I will no, say this. Wait, 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 you have to take that. Her testimony. I have to sh- 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 my mouth. Like okay, that. I will say this. I will say this, Cloud. You, I'm, I apologize due to the rules. You will have to take that back, but you can say it. You can say that right away as soon as you are on the mic. Well, I can't not help having a reaction. To I'm gonna keep oh my godding. Okay. Oh my godding is fine. Okay. Right. She retracts oh right, the curse right, word. Right, she retracts right, right, the curse right. word. Thank you. <laughs> she can say it later. So she, without asking, grabs the last piece. All right. It sticks it. For, all right. Right. Which is you know, you know when you're savoring a moment. Right. That. <laughs> she's allowed to do that. She's not said anything. That's fine. She's oh my right. god. When you're savoring. <laughs> she's allowed to say. When you're saving a moment, right? And somebody tries to take away from that moment. You know what? The great thing, the best thing what I, I, I should have done was say, you go ahead, take my moment. Mm. But I didn't. Because for me, right, I have um, mental to stomach ratio. I know exactly um, what part of my stomach is filled. We, and, there, and there was, in my stomach, there was that exact amount, right, yeah. in my stomach. That it needed the nutrients. <laughs> the last puzzle. Piece. Yes, the, yeah. exactly. It's a nice. puzzle. Thank you. Yeah. Right? So I go, get that fucking thing. No, I didn't say that. I go, no, my dear. <laughs> I said, you, you may not have that last piece. And then what else did you do? That's it. And you, I you didn't, so immediately swallowed it. <laughs> but then you also. You didn't even and then I did a smirk. Thank you so much. I, 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 I knew it. I, I knew, knew you, knew you smirked it. at you, Clyde. And I know that you're my lawyer. <laughs> I know you're my lawyer. And George, I know that's why you're you know second what, in command, George, right? Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. my first in command, George. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you don't so, back me so, up, okay. um, my rebuttal. Okay. I appreciate it. <laughs> are, are you done? Are you done with your? You know what? I'm not done. I'm not okay. done. It's I'm called not... Filipino on Filipino crime. What you're doing? <laughs> I'm not. I'm really. I'm, I'm really. You know I'm what not, it is? I'm not you're the kind of Filipino no, that looks I'm... down from the Fili- Filipinos from the Philippines. <laughs> Whoa! You're Filipino American. I get it. I get it. It's oh. okay. You think you're like some <laughs> some like a richer version of? Me. I've been to the barrio. Mm-hmm. It's not done. So um, it. Tagalog is how you say it, right? <laughs> Tagalog. So what I want to say to you, my friend, is um, my closing statement. No, not my closing statement. But my la- the last bit of testimonial I want to say is, and then I said, thank you so much. Looked her in the eyes. And I said, thanks for making me breakfast. Appreciate you. Interesting. Right? And then I think I moseyed onto the couch to just do, live out my r- the rest of the day. Okay? And um, that's the end of my testimony. Episode 322. Aquafina. Be that, Bobby. You're the kindest person I know. What's up? Did you meet Nora Hi. Aquafina? How are you? Hi. Hi. That's my niece. Oh, yeah. hey. Listen, that's just a podcast with she Bobby has and no Tantino. idea what's going oh, on. Oh, nice. Let me ask you. Is that what you're going to wear to do Jeremiah's podcast? Yeah. Okay. In pajamas. <laughs> All right. All right. Cool. <laughs> just come in. Come on in. Come on in. Come, come in here. for a second. I need to talk to you about something. You do, she's Stand in, in the middle of the fucking room. She's doing a podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Number one, I've been gone for three weeks. When I saw you today, I said hi. I know, but you. I, I know, but I want a hug. Yeah, but you didn't greet her happy birthday. Oh, I didn't know it was your birthday. oh my god! Wow. I didn't know it was your birthday. I'm so happy birthday. Happy birthday, Bobby. I haven't seen you in three weeks. Okay, forget. See, that's why. Have Give fun. her the keys. Give oh, her the, the keys. keys. <laughs> I don't have them. <laughs> you made her stand in the middle. Oh, oh, they're right here. Do you want these? <laughs> one last thing, though. One last thing. One last thing. Yeah, have you been using the car? Yeah. All right. When, it's just, sorry, it's sorry. No. When I went into the car earlier, yeah. right? What did the thing say? Two One. Oh, it one wasn't car. her. It wasn't her. I can actually tell you it wasn't her. You. No, it was Marianne. <laughs> she took the car for three days and didn't fill it back up. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck face Marianne took my car for three days? Yeah, she took her daughter to <laughs> Disneyland, though. Be nice. Oh, Disneyland. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Bye. 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 Nice you. One last thing, one last thing, one last thing, my right? You represent the family. You kill it on the podcast. It's a franchise, baby. She's gonna kill it. She's gonna kill it. <laughs> All right. You're gonna kill it. 
Bye. Don't make me look like a fool. Bye, Jules. All right. Drive safe. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Episode 288, The Baby Shower. Anyway, go ahead. Video. All right. Our first video is he from... He dresses like me. Our, our, like George. Uh, our first uh, person is Jack Shrine. Nosotros papaya. Nosotros. Uh, Congratulations, George. Thank you. They said you couldn't do it, mate. They said you couldn't fuck. <laughs> and look at you now. <laughs> Uh, well done. Um, I was told to leave a message for your unborn son, um, something that he could look back on uh, when he was a little bit older uh, and see about his dad. Uh, so uh, I thought I would share with him so you don't have to uh, the magic of how babies are made. Um, so you see, son, uh, sometimes when a man loves a woman very much, he brings her eggs and tomatoes from his garden. Uh, and sometimes... <laughs> Just sometimes that That's woman likes move. those That's eggs and invites him in as opposed to kicking him out of her fucking house. Uh, but sometimes she invites him in and allows him to play with her stove. And that's Ooh, the stove analogy. Oh. Deep cut. Pussy! A relationship is like a stove. <laughs> Relax. Uh, you have to turn the heat up just right, not too hot, not too cold. Uh, and you definitely don't want her to be turning the heat all the way down either. Oh. Um, but sometimes, if you bring her just the right amount of eggs and uh, just the right amount of uh, homegrown nightshade fruits, uh, you turn the knobs of the stove just right, uh, loudly chuckle at everything she says in just the right tone, that's how babies are made. Um, I hope this has been analogy. helpful. Uh, again, congratulations, George. Uh, they can't take this away from you, mate. Love you. Uh, keep up the good work and uh, and all the best. I love you. I love you. Austra Jack Australian. Ryan. I hate this guy and love this guy so Australian? much. Probably right. He, I, I, he sounds South African to me. Oh, yeah. He did the uh, good old stove analogy, George. Wait, is that yep. YouTube? That's a <laughs> uh, it's a private link. Yeah. Yeah, private link. Babe. Is that that? We have one more. One more. How did you feel about that? That was George? really sweet. Was I a... like that. I like it. Yeah. He cares. Deep cuts. Deep cuts. Stove analogy. What this guy looks like George. Oh my god. Another George. A lot of Georges. Are these all my doppel like George and Andrew Santino's baby. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Oh. George, we were asked to uh, leave a message for your unborn baby to listen to when he's older. So I would just like to tell him a little bit about when you uh, when you finally got Jessica um, and what a big upheaval that was and how we're all so happy that you finally... Finally got her and had to, and you got to have a baby with her. And, uh, <laughs> just amazing, amazing, really. We're all so happy for. It's not, not Jessica. Assholes. It's not Jessica. Um, <laughs> congratulations, George. <laughs> that. That's about was right. Money. That's about right. Oh god. That's about right. George, look at George. those people that look like you love you, man. Oh, that's so good. He's English, no? Everyone's yeah, not like from here. International. That's so. You know, it's it's so strange to um get have that. You know how lucky we are that you know there are people around the world that watch this. I don't know why they do, but they do, and we should be um, blessed by it. And I want to get emotional about it because it really hit me, you know, in the right place. You know, I I feel like we're doing this in a vacuum. And people enjoy it. I don't know why. I'll never know. But, you know, I'll keep doing it. And um, I think you're very lucky, George. I think that, you know, I'm lucky to have met you. I think that um, it was God's will to have him, you in my life. I think that you changed my life in a, an incredibly positive way. Um, I don't think that I would have the business that I have without your contribution. I think that um, this woman is very lucky to have you and vice versa. I think you're gonna have a really happy life and um, congratulations. That Thank was you, really Bobby. sweet. It makes me cry. Episode 300, David Cho, Stephen Yun, and the Lord of the Bobby Lee Rings. So, so I've come on the show so far and I've been trying to explain to Bobby like, why we're not better friends, and just basically mm -hmm. my feelings towards him. And it seems to be getting him like angry, as you can probably sense right now. I wish I was here earlier. And, <laughs> and I have more context. And, 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 I, and actually, I want to kind of explain to Bobby right now 
why you're here right now. So, oh, yeah. So Steve, Steve came to my house a few nights ago, and we talked for hours about you. <laughs> hours. So uncomfortable. I can't even do it. <laughs> Intervention? So, so, no, it's yeah, not an yeah, intervention. Yeah, yeah. It's not an inter- it's not it's an so inter- uncomfortable, I can't even fucking believe it. <laughs> so let me ask you. You just told me, I'm so fucking uncomfortable, I can't stand it. But can you for a little bit because he's here? Can, I, can like, you be open to hearing what we have to say? Yeah, you, okay. Can you be open to hearing what we have I'm to say? Here, no matter be- how uncomfortable it makes yeah, you. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, here we go. Oh, Bow number eight. They've been bowing the whole time for respect. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, that's you don't have to. Uh, okay. You don't have to guess. Uh, I'm a... <laughs> <laughs> um, I like that bow. That's a new bow. <laughs> I gotta learn that one. All right, so, oh, listen, that's my dad. I'm, 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 dude, I didn't. Know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh my gosh. That's just <laughs> Is this your? That, that's just, that's just for real. He's dead. Yeah. Um. All right. So, wait. Okay. So. Uh, you know what? You're uncomfortable. I, no, no. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take the my earphones off. And then you're gonna close your eyes. No, I'm not gonna close your eyes. I'm gonna put the, and I'm gonna I'm gonna listen like. Oh wow! Yeah, 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 oh yeah, wow! Yeah, 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 yeah. I want yeah. my ears yeah. to hear this maybe fucking cl- bullshit. Maybe close your eyes. <laughs> Mike, Mike. Babe, maybe Mike. close your oh. eyes. Maybe close your eyes. No, don't close. No, your no, eyes. no, I don't want to close. Don't your close. Your eyes. Right look look your at me. Because this is sabotage, and I love it. Go ahead. You think this is sabotage? I don't know what it is. Let's just do it, okay? You think this is a no? I'm, I'm, do you want me to go or do you want to go? You yeah. go first. Okay, man. I've I'll been go. talking to this guy. All right, okay, okay. Mad when I tell him how much I love him. I, <laughs> it's like, um, can you can you hear me? Can, is this good? Everyone's good on the mic. You want headphones? Oh no, I'm okay. Okay. We got your mic now. Oh, okay, really? Okay. I got a mic. Thank you. Um, it's not that intense. <laughs> I uh, we were just talking, and you know, Dave Dave is great because if you know if you have an idea, he pushes the button, and then we're just on to the idea. But basically, we were just talking about you and how underappreciated you are. And we wanted to come tell you that, like... That's we, what you talked about? Yeah. What? Is it, 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 okay. I'm, genuine. I'm, I'm genuine. Uh-huh. Like, like we, were, we were talking about... Because I, cause I know you're doing a bit sometimes, too. It's like, sometimes I listen, when I listen to Tiger Belly, the fun bit that I hear you do is that... Uh, Nobody respects <laughs> you <laughs> or your career, and that's not true. That's not true, especially for me. Yeah, because I massively respect. I know you do. Yeah, I mean, I don't know that you, but I, you know, it's it's funny. It's like, let me get back in here. <laughs> Wait, what happened to the listening part? I just listened to it. Can I, may I respond? Wait, no, I, I didn't. I didn't I get just, to say what I. You've been yeah. talking for fucking an hour. That's true. Half. That's true. Right, that's true. Go, go I want to hear more. I want to. Oh yeah, go ahead. I, I can yeah, yeah, give me, Can give I respect your father? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here, I got your dad. No, I got him. I'm gonna hold him. So we start talking about Tiger Belly. We start talking about you, and um, it's just uh, you know we could you know we could talk about the handcuff stuff, this and that. But the, the pain I feel of when I hear you go into like, man, I went into this pitch meeting, I didn't get the thing. I used to be on the show called Mad TV. Oh, it's I never say that. like, I, I, it's a show from like 20, 30 years ago. I never really say that. And, and I just sit there and I go, what you heard what Steve just said. I, and I go, I wonder if Bobby knows what he means to me. And then I say that to Steve and he goes, I wonder if Bobby knows what he means to us. Mm. And it's like, I, I, I have it all. I'm fine. Oh no, I'm thriving. But it's like everything you've ever wanted. Every it's like, you, like, do you know what you mean to me? Oh, God, do you know what you? So <laughs> that's why I asked you. Are you open to here? And you said you're gonna sit. It's not the way I thought it was gonna go. <laughs> Look, <laughs> you walked into Cafe One Hundred One, and 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 you do the bit. Oh, you, there's a, a warlock there with nail polish. You do the whole thing, and I oh never, God. ever in my life thought I would meet you. And, mm. and, and I never thought I would meet you again, which is why I was like, this is my chance, <laughs> right? And you say all this shit, you changed my brother's life, this, all that. You changed my life. You changed my life. And I, I, I want you to hear it, even though it makes you uncomfortable. Like, see, why do you got to do that? I don't know why I did. I, I, why do you got to do that? I was sneezing. All right. That was a sneeze. I mean, are you taking in anything that we're yes, saying? Yes, I am. That's why I close my eyes where I'm absorbing it. But I get it. I get 
I can't <laughs> hear even I I get the the cringe of this thing, but you know we even talked about it. I was like, I don't know if I maybe I should just call him personally. But then you know this is more yeah intense showbiz and baby and <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood baby. Yeah. But but truly, Bobby, you're like not you're. I think you know this, but sometimes it just feels nice to hear it. Like you did it when nobody else could. You did it for us. Yeah. We bow to and, you. And people don't fully know. <laughs> by himself now? By, by himself, babe. Meet him. I don't I, I know because I I I'm gonna tell you why. This is <laughs> Did that feel foolish? Thank you so much. <laughs> don't laugh. We 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 you mm. you did it, but oh. but it's serious. But it's no, I, I, serious. I, 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 serious. Don't I'm, turn it into a joke. I'm not. Don't turn. You did it. You did. You it. did it. I, I receive it genuinely. You did it. Receive it. I've 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 absorbed it inside my body, and I'm gonna say something in return, and I'm gonna be as authentic and as real as I can be. Okay. Number one, it's the realization that. It really doesn't mean that much at the end of the day. It's like, I have everything that I need. Mm. Okay? Honestly, I do. I have a house. I have some money saved up. I have a beautiful girlfriend. I have friends. My mom's still alive. My brother's with us, and he's, he's thriving as well. So that's number one. Number two is I really be believe that I am owning up to who I am not just as a human being, but also as an, an entertainer, okay? And I, in this last year, mm. it's been very fruitful for me. I'm working all the time, mm. and things have been great. And, um, and you know, I'm going to New York to do something else, you know what I mean, next month. Uh, you know, I got Sex in the City, mm -hmm. right? So I'm doing that, and I'm doing, uh, I, you know, and I'm, uh, so for me, I, when I hear you guys say that, right, it's, you know, um, it really means a lot because obviously I love both of you. I think you both are in incredibly talented and I really do appreciate it. And I almost got really emotional, emotional there, you know, and I, ha but, I, but you, you, I have defense mechanisms and I, and you, I, you, you, you're, I, 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 yeah, you're doing I, it. I, 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 can I just finish? Yeah. Cause that's your thing. What? I don't want to yell. Don't. I love you. You know, when I yell at you and I go, Tiger Belly could be the biggest show. And, and, and that's like me. That's, you're right. That but is old. That's that is old, Dave. But today, I just accept you as like you don't have to be on Sex in the City. You don't have to do any of that. And so I, I, I didn't say that just to, for you to say. Well, what's, that. what's I'm just saying that? Look, you're getting angry again. And no, I'm I, not getting angry. That's and I, and I'm I just not. I just want you to really understand what. <laughs> but you know, you know what happened to me on the drive here. Yeah. I was like, I need to download some Bobby. So I listened to Bad Friends, your newest episode. Mm -hmm. So good. And then um, the beginning of the episode, you were just recounting how much work you had, and then I almost turned the car around, and be like, "Fuck, he doesn't need me to come over here and say this shit." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "This is fucking nonstop. What yeah. the fuck?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you, 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 things. And I, you didn't need me to. I just, just to be clear. Yeah. This is awkward for me because I know you don't need this, and this wasn't me. This is not an intervention or us coming here to be like you feel down on yourself. No, no. So it was like, I, I, for me. It's just like we sat there. I haven't talked to you in a while. Yeah. And so now I get to like tell you in a time when, and I don't want to shrink you down to just Asian American, but like in a time when Asian Americans are getting a spotlight. Just on that lane of what you've done for the community, beyond, separate from humanity, but what you've done for that specific community, massive. And people don't get it. I, and that's kind of what I want to say is less to you and more on this program. I don't think people fully realize what Bobby Lee did for Asian Americans. So this, fucker's, this fucker's at my house. We're having this conversation at my house, <laughs> and I'm like, I wish I was better friends with Bobby so I could call him right now, and he would pick up the phone, and we could tell him on person. And I said, you know what? I would, what Steve's telling to me is, like, making me emotional. And so I'm like, I want to tell this to Bobby, but he's never going to pick up my call. I should just go on Tiger Belly and tell him. <laughs> and so here <laughs> and I am now, and you're, getting, and, and you're getting, 
you're getting and and so we start the show and he goes oh without dvd i say there's no tiger belly there's no fucking us without you there's no us that's without true. you. That's true. That's true. I'm out for the, uh, Bruce Lee. Yeah, th there's nothing. True. There's a void. There's nothing. There's nothing. How about this? You know. And what? then there's Bobby Lee on Mad TV, and you're like, oh, there's hope. Yeah. There's a light at yeah, the end of the yeah. tunnel. What you meant to me, a young me. What you meant to a young yeah, Steve. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's great? I want you to hear that. It's hundred percent. Hundred percent. I hear that. And I remember an episode of Tiger Belly where you tell the story about you guys were at a Korean barbecue and you were talking about how like you are you self anointed yourself as a Korean something at Parks barbecue yeah at Parks and then you fucking ate it and that's because it's the shittiest raw deal to have to anoint yourself in your own mind to the worth that you inhabit mm -hmm. and that's kind of the function that I'm trying to serve here with dave is like let me just give it to you like you got it like you did it and you did it you for us you fucking did it you did it for us um i don't get asked to um do the uh, um yeah psa's we don't want you <laughs> <laughs> i you know I, I get together with steve ali wong dave chang and we go we don't want this guy here yeah but I, 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 no, I, I, can i just tell you something kidding. i care about it yeah and i think i have a voice do. and i want to say you know say, hey man stop the asian violence say it you now. Know, we're, but you know what though? What I'm saying is, your existence is more powerful than you realize. Yes. To, uh, uh, like in that, you just doing this fucking show is more stop Asian hate than anything. Yes, yes. Like you just being here and being your thriving, funny fucking self is yes. like you don't. What were you gonna say? Don't hurt me. Don't hit me. Yeah. You like it when people hit you. <laughs> you're really offended but that's but your existence is the protest and your I, I, existence has been the protest since the beginning of your career mm. and that's kind of the validation that we're trying to put out there for you again not that you need it but just for the knowledge just we're like sitting here it's like bruce lee that's not me there's this asian waiter guy that's not me and then and then there's this guy this guy with the f he comes out, and I go, okay, you know, that you know, guy. I got really, emo I got emotional, and I, you know, the first, the third day I was on Mad TV, a producer called me into his office, and he said, "Sit down." And I sat down. And he goes, "When you auditioned, I didn't want you on the show. I don't think, I don't think that you're talented. I don't think that you're right for the show." He's a producer on the show, and mm -hmm. I go, "Really?" And he goes, "Yeah, it's just like the owner of the show really likes you, and a couple of other guys, but like, I just." You know, so basically he was saying like me and my my writing staff, that the people that I probably gonna write you things, you know, he said, Don't take it personally. We just you know and I remember turning around, walking out of that room in just in for, like mm -hmm. in the verge of tears, mm -hmm. right, going, Oh, this is even when I get something, yeah, it's there's another hurdle and there's another wall I have to climb yeah and this that one was one that was like so high up right because I had to change his mind and, and when you don't have the opportunity on the show right you don't get a lot of screen time and parts written how are you going to hit the ball right yeah. so it's like it was a it was you know it was tough you know and I stayed on there I just just showed up you know I showed up and it was hard I think you didn't just show up though you took you Several cried. years of fucking beatings, and yet you thrived. Like, they put weights on you, and you still thrived. And you're out here now thriving, independent of that. Yeah. And I wonder, like, you know, you could take the weights off, too. What a concept. Wow. Wow. And that's not an intervention point. That's for me, like, as someone that launched off of your trailblazing and your shoulders, I can say there's a point at which I was like, oh, cool, I could take this off. I put this, I kept this on, and it became a thing I justified, and now I could take this shit off. And then you're just like, fuck, I'm good. Like, I can do it. Okay, I just, uh, you know, you know, I don't know what this is. But um, what do you mean? This guy comes to my house. No, I know. I know what it is. I know. No, I'm just saying. I, I I know what it is. It's just um, I wasn't expecting this, and um, I you know I appreciate what you guys just did, 
And this is the first time in my life where I agree with you in the sense that like, yeah, it was hard and I did do it. And I, and they didn't want a Korean guy in the show. They were like, we want to, we need a white guy. Cause it, mm-hmm. they, you know, and then they, they tested me in Taron and kill him. And they're like, we want the white guy, but we'll bring the Asian guy just as an experiment. Right. Mm-hmm. My, my point is, is that everything was kind of difficult and, um, and I just, I always knew, like when I'm at a, I'll be honest with you, when I'm at a comedy club and I'm stacked up against all these white and black guys and this and that, I know that I can carry my weight. Mm-hmm. And I know that I will be as funny or funnier than all of them, right? Mm-hmm. I believe that. You are. I know, I believe that. You know, I've seen it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've, I've, I've done it. Mm-hmm. You know I've, what I mean? I've seen it. So all those, it's hard to say because it's like, how do you toot your own horn? Yeah, you yeah how do you, it's, it's just a yeah. difficult thing to do, you know? And um, I um, I hear you guys, and I really, really, that means a lot to me, and I really appreciate it. You know, I think that this was a... Um, we appreciate your hard work. Yeah, it's, it's really good. We see you. Yeah. We Are you getting you. emotional? I am, because I think that, I don't know, just like, we've been together a decade. Mm-hmm. And when I met him, he was so broken, and he was so down on himself, and he was just so, like, lost and he was still like looking at these gatekeepers of Hollywood thinking like, hand me something, have I not done enough? And I've just always been like on the sidelines, like desperately trying to tell him like he's worthy, but I'm a nobody. I was just a nurse, you know, and I'm just somebody that loves him. So to hear it from you guys, you know, like established people, like it means a lot to me because I feel like that reverberates more in him in his body than it would coming from, you know, somebody like me who just loves him for whatever chaos comes, whatever form or shape that he comes in, right? And so that means a lot to me, hearing that. Your words and your acceptance of the fullness of Bobby as he is, is the most powerful thing that he can have. Like straight up my wife is like she takes me t- she sees me when i'm taking shits <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah yeah and she's still here yeah so like fuck everyone else i've seen it it's powerful shits it's really <laughs> yeah man but i i all that to say like i believe I, I'm, I'm not here to tell you anything like you already know i'm just here to tell that's why i think this public forum is cool because it's like Cool. Every motherfucker that didn't realize that Bobby Lee like set shit up for people and us and took, man, th- I mean, I know how hard it was and still how hard it is for me to navigate this industry. And you did it when nobody was there. Nobody. And we do the, the you know, whatever, it turned into a bit. We're doing the bow joking thing. Mm. <laughs> That's not a joke. That's not a joke. Yeah, I know it's not. I, I, now I, I know it's not. I, um, I, I pay respect listen, to you. Listen, you know I don't want to cry anymore. Why not? Because it's, it felt good. <laughs> it felt good. It was a release. I, I felt good about it, and I release. Um, you know, I um. People need to pay respect to you. I I, I know, and we did that. <laughs> <laughs> we did that, and I I honestly. From the bottom of my fucking heart, thank you too for doing that. I've never that I never dreamt that people like you guys, like guys I really respect, I really do. Like in terms of I like I go, this these are guys are younger, and I can't even believe that you know sometimes you know I can't believe that certain people like me. Or whatever, mm-hmm. it feels good, you know. So it's like I want to say thank you for doing that. It's you know so much respect there, and I believe you. And I, um, I'm never going to forget it. I'm never going to forget it. Oh, shout out to Tia Carrera. That was another one. I really. Oh, Tia yeah, Carrera. I love her. Yo, love there, her. Uh, you're not the only one. <laughs> 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 you're not the only one. But you know what? Yeah. The distinction that I make that you did was you didn't try to fit within the prism of what Asian America was supposed to be yeah. at that time. And mm. you frequently continuously broke it 
even when the community itself didn't want you to break it like that. But that's a lot and of work. That's fucking balls. And it's a lot of work. So much work. That's why when he says you could put the weights down now. Yeah, I, yeah. It's like when Kalila shares and like just hearing her that makes me emotional like that because it's like that's that's your woman, man. She loves you. And um it's it's like uh doesn't make more sense now. Because we've been battling before before the Postmates guy got here. And, <laughs> and, 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 uh, I really so thought there was. <laughs> no, it's like, I, I, I love you so much that when I feel the way that Kalila must feel all the time being, it, it does make me angry. Because I'm like, I wish you could see yourself the way I see you. And like, this fucking guy shows up to my house and we're just doing a Bobby Lee fest. I'm like, let's tell him. Yeah. Let's just tell him. Like, why are we saying it to each other? Yeah. He should hear this shit. And it uh, really means a lot, man. Happy New Year. Nosotros papaya to you, my friends. Oh,